but that's going to take an extra second while I get my headphones in. But we're almost there. We're almost there as soon as I get this in. All right, there we go. We're so close. I was so close to beating that five-minute timer back. But there we go. Good evening. I am Resplendent Seraph. Today we're going to be playing a little bit of Fallout, Fallout 4 specifically. We return to the Wasteland, where I do plan to do the quest Old Guns, but there's basically just a bunch of old other side quests that we kind of need to do. Um, so I hope everybody had a great three-day weekend, those of you that did have a three-day weekend. Uh, for everyone else, I hope your week is off to a very nice start. I don't see any reason to kind of drag our feet about this. Let's kind of get this uh, show on the road and let's get started. I was tinkering around a little bit over the last couple of days to see if I could fix one of the issues with the um, with the texture mod that I'm using, but I don't know if there is a good fix for that. There just might not be a good fix for it, but that's all right. I could work around it, but I did tinker with some other things and uh, things that were, didn't necessarily need to get bogged down in stream, configuring uh, various mods and tinkering with some other things, but um, those are taken care of. And so last time we finished off Automatron, we defeated the Mechanist. We're in good shape here. And let's get my microphone a little bit better position there. There we go. That's better. Okay. And so, yeah, let's, uh, all right. So we've got, we've got, uh, we've got plenty of water here. Right. I had to do, uh, the vault tech thing here. Let's, uh, let's store that. We don't need to mess around with that at the moment. So we've got, we've got one power generator here. We got two water filters. Uh, I think we could probably get away with putting in another water filter, but you know, let's take a look. How much is this settlement producing water-wise? So we're producing 30. Yeah, maybe let's not, because I don't really want to uh, get closer to that defense until I'm ready to actually start building better defenses and whatnot. So yeah, let we'll hold off on that for right now. And so you'll notice the happiness is going down. So there are two very good reasons for that now. We've got Ada, who's here, and we've got Jezebel, who's here. And robots can only have 50% happiness. And so they're, those two alone are going to drag the whole average down, which is fine. That's not the end of the world. Uh, let's go over here. Let's see if we can sell some purified water. Go over here, grab some water if we've got it. <laughs> Perfect. We sell that to Carla. Huh? Hey, Carla. You again. Here to trade? Yep, you got it. Let's see what you have. You break it, you buy it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so. Right. <laughs> What's Seraph doing? I am selling the purified water. Of course, it would help if I went to the correct place, wouldn't it? I did just grab all the pure. Okay, thank you. Please. If I only had a brain. Uh, let's go with the junk here. Is there anything we want to necessarily buy? Mm. We're going to need concrete pretty soon. Especially to fix the, the castle. So you know what? Let's, let's buy all that concrete. Let's now go over here. Let's go to pre-war money. Hmm. You know what? Sure. Let's go back to junk. We'll buy telephones, hot plate. Uh, we could get a shipment of circuitry or ceramic. Let's just go with duct tape and some junk for right now. Gold watch, typewriter, cameras. Yep. We'll just grab all this stuff. This ends up being good just because of... Um, actually, might even want to do a shipment of oil. We might need oil. <laughs> uh, shipment of wood. You know what? Yeah, let's go with that shipment of, um, we'll go with the shipment of oil here and I'll find more ammunition to give her, uh, 38 rounds. Okay. You know what? Fine. <laughs> let's go back and let's see what else we've got here. Uh, crystal. That's going to be there. Okay. Antique globe. Sure. We'll buy the baseball. Yeah. Why not? Let's grab this crap. 
This ends up being a little tedious. Hey, Operator Mudhorn. <laughs> uh, I am using an EMB. I'm not using Reshade. Uh, but I am using a um I am using an EMB. It's called Utopia uh EMB. And I like it. I like this one. So we're uh we're all, we're just gonna buy stuff until we finally can uh Wow, she's basically near, near uh, almost near nothing here. Eh, you know what? Fine, we'll buy the screws, and we'll actually give her some money this time. You ought to be careful. I can fix. My all right, now we transfer all that in there. Yes, let's put all that irradiated blood in there. Yep, the red scorpion meat, the stingwing meat. Life is good. So greetings, Mudhorn. How was your day? see is there anything else in here that's weird that i want to get rid of oh right we've got the mechanist helmet we could put that away we don't need to keep that we don't really need that many frag grenades either at this point and i might not even keep these plasma grenades but you know what the hell we'll keep Both you know things, but people don't fix so easily let's go in here let's add a different container for our uh for our um <laughs> if only Seraph could put two sentences together today. Uh, I'm going to go with a container uh, and we'll put our ammunition in something different. Maybe a footlocker. That looks good. You know what? Yeah, we'll do we'll do a footlocker for ammunition. Although we could do a crate, this, I suppose. Or a steamer chest. What works for maybe a locker? Yeah, I'm thinking just a little footlocker for, uh, for our ammunition. And other various supplies here. Uh, you know what? We'll put. Yeah, you know what? We'll put it right here. That's. That's fine. And let's go over here and let's grab anything that may have been. Okay, there's nothing else there. But you know what? Let's put. Uh, no, we'll keep those. But we could put the two nuka. We could put those quantums in there. I think. Yep. Let's grab the stealth boys, because that's what we'll do with that. Okay, mechanist helmet and armor we'll put in here. Okay. And now for this footlocker, what we'll do, because for some reason they put stealth boys in with your aid, which is not very helpful. I mean, yes, it's a boost, but uh, we could put a bunch of stealth boys in here. We're not going to need those. Let's put all of, yeah, let's put that many in here. Um, I don't need pulse grenades unless I need them. So let's put that in here just to help our weight situation. I don't need Molotov cocktails. Let's try and help ourselves out here. We'll keep this frag mine going. When we eventually get bottle cap mines, I'll drop a bunch of bottle cap mines in here. Put that away. Um, we're going to do the same thing with the castle. I'm going to end up having a nice... Um, actually, maybe I should just do this stuff with the castle now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe I should just put weapon stockpiles at the castle. You know what? I really should. Okay. You know, I just thought of that because we're going to the castle. Never mind. But you know what? I'll have that there anyway, just in case we need to come back here. Are there any... I'll keep that knight uniform for now. But what I'll do is the knight uniform... Shit. That's a good question. Hey, dog me. Oh, yeah, let's take the Grognax axe. And that fat man, for that matter. Oh, no, I want you to have the teddy bear. Shit. Dog meat with a teddy bear, he'll play with it. Yay! Okay, that's set for that. Okay, Bios Knight uniform. I'll give that to dog meat so that if I ever need to equip somebody with it, they've got it. All right, we're good to go there. Okay, let's go over Thank here. You. It's like I can finally think straight. Yes, I know. <laughs> Uh, that fat man can go in there. We should have two fat men in here. Oh, no, we only have one. Okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, I know why I gave that to dog meat. So that uh, if I ever need it, I got it. Okay, that was what I was thinking there. The grognax axe. Finally think straight. That could go there. Go boy, dog meat. Hey. All right. And then if I really need to nuke something, I've got it. Okay. We're good here. All right. Let's make our way to I know I'm not the, only person the here. castle. I just... I miss him so 
so much. Yeah, I hear you, June. <laughs> I hear you, buddy. You know what? Now that we've exited and re-entered the game, does that fix our issue here? You know what? Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. I probably have to Look leave the, the two of us here in sanctuary. Prepared yep, he won't let me select him. Yeah, I probably did permanently fuck that up. That's alright. It really isn't the end of the really isn't the end all be all. Oh shit. Hey Carla, do you have ten millimeter ammo? I just remembered. Yes. Oops, nope, Carla, nope, nope. <laughs> Don't shoot Carla. Don't shoot Carla. Oh nice. I've got a few minutes to browse. Here's what I got. Okay, what I really need is, yeah, let's go with a little more 10 millimeter ammo. And do I have anything I can, oh yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Perfect, and we'll make some of our money back. <laughs> that, that works. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, we'll sell the used fusion core. Okay, maybe we won't sell the used fusion core. But we'll make a little money back. Cool. That works. Let's see. I don't need to cash any quests, right? Long road ahead. Oh, right. We got to head there first for um, for McCready. And we may as well do the rogue robot while we're on our way there. We'll have to do Finch Farm in a bit. Oh, right. We have a level up. I totally forgot about this level up. Okay, we're definitely not doing that. We probably want to do Gun Nut here. Gun Nut 3? Yeah, that's probably what we're going to want. Uh, we do want to do that at some point. We don't need to do that now. Let's let's do Gun Nut. Yeah, that's what I should have done off stream. Is uh, Apparently the castle's been trying to get you on the radio. Some kind of situation over there. Better go see what's going on. Don't worry, Preston. We will. And I should know. Okay, so let's see. Can we... Hardened, calibrated, powerful receiver. Better critical, better critical shot damage and accuracy. And do we really need that? No, but we have the ability to do it. So, yeah, superior damage and then better critical shot damage and accuracy. Just to make sure everyone filled out their form. I was supposed to win a pack of steak knives. This fucking guy. <laughs> uh, superior range, recoil, sighted accuracy, poor hip fire accuracy. Yeah, we may as well. Let's do that. Magazine. We've already got the large magazine on there. We're good there. Can we do a better scope? Oh, yes, we can. Let's do the long scope. That's better. Good. Codsworth and Preston both like that. That's awesome. And I don't think we can do... Well, we could at least put a compensator on here. Ugh. Or range. We can't do that till gun nut three. Yeah, do I want to do that? No at least improve idea. the accuracy. What it's been like scrounging around for two centuries with this ugly mug. Basically the same thing. So yeah, we'll put a muscle break on here for now. That's all right. Let's take a look at you. Can we do anything better with you now? Calibrated, powerful receiver. Well then, yes. Let's do that for better accuracy. I don't think there's anything else we could do. Oh, it'll let us put a suppressor on that. That just seems ridiculous to me, though. Wood grip, comfort grip. Oh, yeah, why didn't I put a comfort grip on this thing? That's strange. Maybe I didn't have the materials for it at the time. Ah, there we go. Yep. Customizing some of our firearms here. Okay, that looks good. I think we've already got the best you stuff we could put on this thing. Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. Yeah, I don't think Look there's anything the else we can do for this. Here in Sanctuary. Prepared for the future. Uh, oh, well, let's do that then. What's going on there? Okay. <laughs> for a second there, it didn't want to look... Didn't, didn't look like it wanted to do that. Okay, is there anything else we could do with Righteous Authority? Probably not, because these require science. 
All right. Well, so far, so good. Until we get legendary replacements for them. That was worth the time. I have actually not played Kingdom Hearts before, believe it or not. I've had that question a lot in the last couple of weeks, though, which tells me I really should start playing that game. Let's see. Food. Did we make everything? Okay, we already made these last time. Perfect. Let's head to Mass Pike Interchange for Recruity's quest. But I definitely need to check out Kingdom Hearts at some point. Yeah, I was a little late in the PS2 adoption period uh, cycle. And by that time, I just... What I should have done is just borrow it from somebody. But I think I was playing a bunch of other games trying to play catch-up and just so happened I just never got around to playing Kingdom Hearts. My brother has a tattoo of Kingdom Hearts. So yeah, I definitely should be playing that game. I've heard so many good things about it. I just, like I said, it is one of those things where you, at some point, even even people who played a crap ton of games, you'll you'll just miss some. Just kind of happens. But yeah, I might end up uh, picking that up at some point, and uh, basically wondering why I never, how I missed it all this time. At some point, I will play it. It's been on my kind of two playlist. I just haven't gotten around to it. But I am looking forward to it. I've heard nothing but good things ever since it came out in, uh, what, 2003, 2004, something like that. And let's just go down here. Yep, of course. But I want to test out this. Oh, I put the wrong scope on here. Well, but it's a headshot. <laughs> All right. So what I'll have to do is um, the next time I'm at a, uh, a, a workbench, I'll have to put the correct scope on it. So I've got a mod, see-through mo uh, see scopes, which helps with that. But I uh, I did not install the correct one. Oh, and this guy's still out here. Poor bastard. Now, if I had gotten that one uh, local leader too, I could have just built one at um, at Starlight Drive-In. So we could have stopped there on the way over. Oh, right. I'm going this way. I'm not going to the castle. That's probably one of our... Yep, Minutemen Patrol. I am liking seeing more patrols. That does happen in vanilla. Oh, those are, those are raiders. Those are not my guys. Nope, McCready got the other one. <laughs> that's that's my fault for just assuming those were raiders. Motherfucker. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, those were not friendlies. Those were those were not friendlies. But the point still stands. Even in vanilla, uh, you'll see a Minutemen patrol. They're just very, very uncommon. But it, uh, but it does happen. But I have a mod that makes them happen more often. Um, you and what army uh, apparently really helps out with that. And then once I install We Are the Minutemen, we'll see even more of them. But I'm holding off on that just because We Are the Minutemen um, puts in... Uh, a new texture for the uniforms. And I think at this stage of the game, it just seems much more reasonable that we haven't, we don't have the resources to actually uh, provide everybody with uniforms yet. Okay, Look, let's... Man, I've been thinking about this for a long, long time. I know what I'm talking about here. Bullshit. You can't just put something between two <laughs> and claim it's a sandwich. Does that mean a loaf of bread is technically... A bread sandwich? Technically, yes, but you wouldn't eat it all at once like that, so it doesn't matter. How you hold it matters. Talk all you want, man. You put that piece of my alert meat between two pieces of bread, but it still ain't a sandwich. Well, what the hell would you call it then? Disgusting. That's what. <laughs> oh, man. I love when you stumble across those two arguing about what a sandwich is. <laughs> that is great fun. Okay, so at some point I will find 
the uh, um, the gun workbench and we can fix Overseer's Guardian. I mean, we could use it. It's just going to look a little wonky until I really properly fix it. Oh, well, we could do this and get this uh, piece of power armor here, but let's not. Let's, ugh, fucking assholes. Deal with these little shits. Guys killed a rad stag. We'll take that. Hey, ghosty. Yeah, I'll be on for a little while. I'll see you. A little, I'll see you whenever you get back. So yeah, this uh, this raider I usually just leave alone. Praying over uh, their fallen comrade. I'm like, you know what? You're le you're minding your own business. Uh, we'll just we'll just leave you alone. <laughs> Fucking radiation. God damn it. Air ghouls. Uh, I can't see it. Yeah, I wandered too close to those radioactive barrels. My own fault. Let's do some right away. Wonder what fighting's going on over here. Oh, since. That was a nice headshot. Holy shit. Well, they took out the mongrels. Wait, that was a guard dog. Oh, shit. Who did these guys kill? Oh, no. These guys... Uh, yeah, guard dogs are not hostile to you. Who the hell did these guys kill? Oh, I showed up too late. I showed up too late. Fucking since killed somebody and their dog. Bastards. Yeah. That's my automatron. Finally, it showed up at Grey Garden. It took its sweet time, but it finally showed up. Ugh. Damn. Damn, damn. Ugh. Well, that sucks, man. I have no idea who its owner is, but. Sorry, puppy. Oh, here it is. Oh, uh, these poor bastards. Well, we can at least take their ammo. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, I just showed up way too late to help out those uh help out those scavengers. Alright, let's take check the map here. So we need to do two things. We need to do Rogue Robot and Long Road Ahead. So we're going here first. And then we're going there. All right, well, should be straight, pretty straightforward. Should be pretty straightforward. What is that sound? Is that my cat getting into trouble? That is probably my cat getting in trouble downstairs. <sighs> Not that she ever does that. Oh, we got a Mr. Gutsy on the bridge. Let's see, is this one we could talk our way past? Nope, let's just keep going. Maybe we can get that rad stag to ignore us. Let's go with our heavy caliber. Because if it's a Mr. Gutsy. Yep, although it doesn't no longer has the skull for us. A mandatory curfew is in Uh, let's see. Oh, I gotta fucking help out Oberlin Station now. That pisses me off. Um. All right, I'm going. Cooperation acknowledged. Thank you. Okay, so we just tell it we're going and. Attention! Attention, all citizens! But it killed these a people. Mandatory curfew is in effect. Repeat. A mandatory curfew all right. Is 
So we didn't have to fight the Mr. Gutsy. That's nice. But we will have to go to Oberlin Station and defend them again. Oh, we've already defended Oberlin Station, like, at least once, right? Or am I completely... Or am I losing my mind? I feel like we've already come to Oberlin Station's aid once. No, you know what it was? It was um, the Raiders attacking them. And we dealt with them out of the Federal Ration Stockpile. This is going to be a more traditional type of attack. But you know what? We're th oh, fucking Christ. So Oberlin Station's right here. Do we keep going down to deal with the robot? Do we go over here and deal with Oberlin Station? Fuck. All right, let's, let's deal with the goddamn robot. And then we'll help defend Oberlin Station. We'll swing back the other way. We should hear these robots fighting something. Deal with this and try not to die. Because the uh, mechanist robots tend to be pretty hardcore. Should be able to see something from up here. Yeah, I would prefer... I really would prefer to get to the Mass Pike interchange first before anything else. What the fuck is this? Okay, safe that we could steal from? Probably a merchant here. Yep, merchant. Hey, buddy. <clears throat> hey, Scava. Let's trade. I've got a few. Let's see what she's got. House. Nothing good. Okay, never mind. Well, she's got an over. She's got a book that would have been nice, but all right. We're not going to steal from her. We're just going to proceed. So here's Forest Grove. This is where, um, what's his name? Where what's his name would have sent us for the um, mutated fern, but we had uh, a much easier place to get to it. But since we're here anyway, let's at least get close enough to discover the location. Wow, we got some serious flicker there. <laughs> All right. Come on, buddy. Come on. There we go. Not Solomon, but, um, Solomon? Maybe it was, maybe it was their name. This building has lots of ammo. I'll grab the ammo. May as well grab them ammo while we're here. We don't need the mutated fern at this juncture. We'll take the pre-war money. But now we'll proceed towards the Mass Pike Interchange. I really don't feel like getting into a gigantic ghoul fight. I'm a little confused at why we haven't found our uh, robots yet. Really should have been over here. Well, we're getting close to the Mass Pike Interchange. Seriously, I still don't see our robots. Oh, there they are. No. These are rust devils, aren't they? Safety off. I think we have company. <laughs> swear I heard something. Why am I not hitting them? That was bizarre. But fine. <laughs> we'll do vats. Oh shit, there it goes. Wow, we can even see the shockwave. Okay, so rust devils. Feel like that means the stupid robot is close by. Yeah, McCready, but we kind of need to loot the body, and we were irradiated anyway. I feel like it's really close by. Fuck it. Fine. Rogue robot. Where's this goddamn robot? <laughs> Normally, I really don't like using that, but fine. That's not the end of it, though. Oh, really? That's it? Well, that works. Sweet. Those are usually not that easy. Normally, those are robo-brains with serious fucking firepower. 
Okay, then. All right, so here's the Mass Pike Interchange. Now, we could go down much further, but we've got a lift right here. We're taking this lift up. That is much easier to get the jump on him down there, because if we take the lift that's down there, we're basically going to go right up into the gunner camp. And then it's just a pure firefight. Whereas at least this way we can plan our approach. And that there's a bit of a jump here. Okay. Man, that's going to drive me fucking crazy. But not that big of a thing. Right, let's see what shows up. We'll just wait for them to come to us. Yep, there's one. Whoops. Damn it. There we go. Okay. Well, that's an interesting quirk of that. Oh, so these see-through scopes is what's doing that. Okay, so that's good to know. So on the original scope, it's actually the alt button. Instead of my throw um, grenade button. So maybe if I... Okay, so what I'll have to do is open the see-through scopes um, configuration and see if I could change the button. Maybe I can. That would be amazing. Because, yeah, it drives me crazy every time I try to uh, having to toggle off the weapon each time really sucks. Man, it's nice to be able to do that again. <laughs> Without having to constantly turn off, you know, the explosive I happen to have. All right, let's see. Come on, buddy. Oh, fucking thing. I hit the barrel instead of them. It sucks. All right, I had the them. The barn should be here. Let's take him down had them. <laughs> Their head fucking exploded from that shot. I don't see anybody else. The problem is there's going to be an Assaultron in there. Uh, that is definitely a problem. Damn it. Well... So that didn't work. That's the problem. That fucker. Run, 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 run. <laughs> run from the Assaultron. Absolutely. Run from that fucking Assaultron. There it is. Yes. Okay, critical hit the fucking Assaultron. Okay. Rest of this shit we've got. Okay, we got two more down below. McCready got a little fucked up and all that. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Hear them fighting. We'll come back to them in a second. Alright, we killed Wiglock. But we still have this asshole. Boy, was that close. Boy, was that close! <laughs> we'll take, uh, we'll take that. Alright, we still have those idiots tossing Molotov cocktails, but they can't hit us from down there. Alright, let's, uh, see where these idiots are. Alright, we can't see them from up here. We're good. Let's see, do you have a fusion core? Yeah, we'll take that fusion core. I'll leave that there. If 
fuck it. Take our stim pack. Let's see. Oh, got some better stuff here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at this. Let's see. Left arm is better, but we've got a combat. We've got fortifying, so we're not taking that. Right leg. Am I crazy? Do I not have a right leg? Okay, metal right leg. Okay, we got the acrobat uh, right leg. So no, we don't need we don't need either one of those. I will, however, clear this spot, and we will definitely pick up the Grognak Barbarian. Let's see what else we may have missed here. Whew. Definitely take bottle cap mines. Cap stash. Excellent. Whoa. Ah, ah. Grab all this shit. Hey. What do you want? Well, this should send a message to the gunner to stay <laughs> off my back. Oops. I'm sure they heard you loud and clear. Definitely. For the gunners, it's always about the bottom line. They just lost this entire way station, and that cost them big. Besides, sort of no charged in. I was involved. Anyway, I guess I owe you a favor now. After all, you hired me, but I'm the one that dragged you out here. Hmm. <laughs> You could give me back those caps I paid you. I guess that's fair. After all, you took some of the risk. And don't worry, I'll still stick with you because that was part of the original deal. Now we're even. There you go. And I guess we're done here. Lead on, boss. <laughs> all right. And now we can work up his affinity again. I don't think I can actually build that scope, however. But you know what? I can at least put the other one on because I forgot to stash it. Yeah, I need the combat scope. That was, uh, that was the problem there. Really, it's not going to let me, uh, fix that, huh? I must have put it away, after all. Okay. Well, whatever. Not the end of the world. So yeah, the other bench brings you right up here, and then you got the Assaultron that just you know, completely <laughs> face fucks you and you're surrounded by gunners from pretty much every direction. It, uh, it is a bad, bad choice to just come right up there. It is much better to make the approach we did, even though I totally fucked up that approach, kind of getting their attention and then they kind of swarmed us, but still much better to have to fight through them in one direction than have to worry about them attacking you from every which way. Yeah, that's not worth it. That's the same one. Let's see. Who else? Any other bodies? No other bodies? Okay. Now we'll get the Assaultron. Assaultrons are great for salvage because they have nuclear material. They got a circuit board. It's pretty cool. Okay, now back we go. Let's see. I think, depending on how you do this, you could go down this way. But yeah, then you hit that gap and that's that's pretty much it. So one of the power armor pieces you can get in this game is a, um, a jetpack. And if you have that, you can really, you can pretty much stay on. You could stay on the uh, highway pretty much the whole way. Um, and at that point, we can start almost using the highways at, for their intended purposes. Making quick work throughout the Commonwealth. Okay, so yeah, let's go to Oberlin Station now. We'll just cross this, and we'll get to it. Uh, but what we will do is let's eat something. Yeah, let's eat that Meyerlier Queen steak. Fuck yeah. That'll improve our endurance. Life will be good. Let's take some rat away. Okay. Now we'll be at full health. Hmm. Okay, now we'll go up there. We'll clear out Forest Grove Marsh. Because, again, companions like it when you clear locations with them. It didn't make any sense to clear this before. So let's sneak. Work our way upstairs. Don't see anything useful in here. Let's see. I'll take the dirty ashtray and that pack of cigarettes. And one cigarette, sure. 
there's anything in that. Okay. Now we get back onto this. We get onto this roof. <laughs> yeah. Something very bad happened up here. Yeah. And now the ghouls wake up. Damn. I moved just a hair too slow. Right there. <laughs> oh, we'll take the steamer chest. Well, they ignited the gas that's in there. Stupid fuckers. God damn it. Fine. That's it is. Kill shot. Fine, we'll just charge up our crit meter here. Yeah, unfortunately, when you head up there, you're not going to need that stuff anymore. Really easy to attract a bunch of ghouls. Hey, buddy. Stimpak dog meat. Cool. Even McCready will like that. I did waste mine. McCready had already killed it by the time I got there. Man, there are just tons of them. Man, that fucker had a lot of hit, po hit points. Fuck. Where's that one attacking dog meat? Okay. <laughs> Oof. McCready must have been too far away. Oops. Yeah, the water's always really irradiated. Kill that ghoul. Oh, bastard. Let's just use vats there. Doing a lot of vats in this particular fight, only because there's so much cover. And we've got it, so we may as well use it. Okay, now I think we can go back upstairs. Good grief, fucking ghouls. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Where is it? Fine. Let's do it from here. <laughs> Just when you think you've got them all. I don't see the other one. That's it. Okay. Now let's go back up here. I want to grab Cap Stash. I'll also grab Sheila's Hollow Tape. Listen, Dale. I don't know what's taking you so long, but you were supposed to meet me here three days ago. Not even one. I'm going to have to make a run. I can see why that Solomon guy is willing to pay so much for the... Oh, it was Solomon. Let me tell you, getting walkways set up here has been a real pain in my ass. <laughs> Wait for me to get back before you take the first load to Diamond City. I've got a couple of things I want. Hey, Sheila! That you up there? The walkways look great, but how do I get up there? There you are. Time, These Dale. idiots are screaming. Head over a block, there's... <laughs> we got it that time. <laughs> so yeah, Solomon, I'm not the first person that Solomon sent up here. Unfortunately. These poor bastards came up here. 
We need to go around that way. And the idea here... Uh, yeah, we can go down this way. And we don't need all the mutated ferns. Like, no, there's no point in even getting it. Right? I hit it. Okay, and they finished it off. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's a rad storm coming in. Lovely. Just what I fucking needed. Now we're at the dam, and we could use this to cross here and get to Oberlin Station. Problem is, we're gonna get to Oberlin Station in the middle of a fucking rad storm. That part sucks, but oh well. Actually, we'll probably go in there in a minute. Well, let's see who's over here. Uh oh. That's a Meyer Lurk. That's not great. So a lot of times, there are friendly faces over here, and you can talk to them. Duh, not this time. Fucking Christ. Now well, let's respond. But at least our turrets are doing their job. Man, that's a hell of a firing line. <laughs> Fuck. Can't hit it. There we go. Take out this one this way. Jesus. All right. <clears throat> Thanks for your help fighting them off. What did they want? I'm sure killing us was pretty high on their <laughs> list. Anyway, we appreciate the help. All right, so that takes care of that. It's very unusual for them to attack a settlement like this that I've, um, I feel like I had fortified this sufficiently. Well, let's take a look. Defense 30, yeah. I mean, I don't think any of those turrets got damaged. No, they each provide five. Yeah, all my turrets are still operational. Just bad luck. <laughs> I mean, we've got 30 defense for a settlement that only provides uh, this. Oh, well, let's repair this. Yeah, let's repair that. Uh, whoops, didn't want to move that. All right, let's get our food situation back up and taken care of. All right, that's dealt with. Okay, jeez, in the ass, all right. All these are back up to the way they were. Good. Okay. Let's, uh, let's plant some water. Resources, water. Yeah, I really don't feel like... Um, where's my... Wait. Oh, right. I couldn't uh, build that last time. Let's do a generator. Wait, I must have been able to power this thing. Did I move the generator that was here? Man, Seraph is losing his mind, chat. <laughs> I am absolutely losing my mind today. Okay. So now we've got a settlement beacon. We can start that here. Just won't be able to build anything there. I really could have sworn. Yeah, I've got, I've got like five people here. Did I send? Did I find them somewhere and just send them here? Maybe that's what I did. I, maybe I just sent people here. All right. So you have plenty of water. You've got food, and you've got beds. Okay. So everything's okay here. 
But my goodness, that was crazy. Okay, so fine. Let's do defense. Turrets. Let's just build two more turrets up here. Come on. Fine. We'll do that. That'll help discourage shit. Christ. Okay. Anyway. So that sucked. But I don't see anything else here that needs my tending to. That doesn't need to be repaired. We're good. Okay. Let's save. Alright, next on the list of bullshit to do. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay. Let's see. Long road ahead. Continue traveling with Recruity. Yeah, let's go to the castle. We're at some point going to head over to uh, the Finch Farm to do that. Alright, so now we got two things going on. But I'm thinking... We'll head over to Old Guns and we'll do this first. Yeah, we only got one person at the castle. The other Minutemen must have died. Man, that sucks. Uh, unless the other Minutemen don't count as settlers. But yeah, since we're here, let's microwave to the castle. Okay, fine. While we're at it, we'll head over here. We'll drop off all this junk. Is there anything else that we want to drop off? That will go in there in time. Yeah, let's put in the mile earth meat. We don't need that. It's all going into... Yep, no, need the Nuka-Cola Quantum. Iguana bits. Perfect. Okay. Yes, let's put all of that. Okay, yeah, I don't need to be carrying that weight. Okay. We'll head to the south. We'll kind of skirt around Boston. I mean, we might even go into Diamond City. Depends what time it is. Oh, it's going to be midnight? Nah, we'd have to wait a while to get into Diamond City. Fuck it. Let's just make our way over to the castle. And let's see what the story is with whatever somebody needs there. <laughs> it's actually a really cool quest. And then once we do that, we'll have something to do with all the other settlements that we have that we can come back to. Let's not go down that way. We'll go this way. Like I said, we'll just avoid Diamond City entirely. Thanks to that fortifying piece of equipment, I could run a little longer. Um, dog meat? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, as long as dog meat's not in the way. There's the mass fusion building. That always ends up being a good landmark for uh, when you're actually in the ruins of Boston. Boston. Let's see. Where am I going? We'll run again. Double time. I remember the first time playing this game. This is actually the route I came from. I, uh, oh, for sakes. Nah, we'll leave those raiders alone. But yeah, this was the route I came through. And it was actually a really impressive route to... Oh, you know what? We need to clear out the... Uh, you know what? We do need to clear these out for to get that reward. Let's do that. Let's do that. Clear out this reward here. Plus, imagine. First time playing a game, approaching the ruins of Boston. And, uh, and this is how you approach it. Like, ruined freaking cars everywhere. <laughs> This creepy-ass architecture. But we do need to clear this. We already killed those ghouls. Okay. Fucking teddy bears. And I love how one is smaller than the other. <laughs> Moved its head at just the right moment. Of course, that one didn't make the... You got a light on that fancy wristwatch? As it so happens, we do. 
Teddy bear doing uh, surgery on this one. <laughs> uh, they are funny. Okay, but we'll take the lab Boy, bottle. Up that junk. It's useful, McCready. It's useful. Not a fan of uh, the companions always complaining about picking up junk, except for Ada. She's the only one that seems to seem seems yeah. to understand the utility of that. We should get the heck out of here. <laughs> now would be good. All right, which way down do I want to go? Uh, I don't think it really matters. Right. Okay, let's head back this way first, let's really. Get it oh, shit. Up another kill from me. That was my fault for coming out of the uh, coming out of the stealth pose. I thought at that point we were good. We were not. And we got a legendary. Let's see what they've got. Man. Fucker put up a fight. Nothing else. We're good. There's McCready. Okay. Come on. Fucking mutant slaying combat rifle. Nah. Yeah. Whatever. It's kind of shitty, but oh well. Uh, I can't stand getting wet. <laughs> Deal with that asshole. I don't think there's anything else past here. Okay, it's just. From this place. We shouldn't be here. <laughs> What's the matter, McCready? You got the creeps? Yep, there it is. Okay, back up. Did McCready run in there? Fucker. I didn't get to him in time. He raised all the freaking ghouls already. Just like that, we've cleared it. But we'll still unlock this. You can tell because we just got a bunch of bottle caps. There's nobody in particular that you cashed in with. Diamond City just knows you did it. This poor bastard. Went in the wrong place for cover. Places are radiated as fuck. But now we could just leave if we wanted to. Uh, but since we're here, let's go out the other way. And say hello to some raiders that aren't expecting us to come from this direction. I did actually set my... Yep, cool. Well, I missed. One of those two should hit. <laughs> oh, I shot. <laughs> The force of my gunshot knocked him clear off the ledge. <laughs> okay, because that's just about the worst thing I've ever smelled in my entire life. One way to avoid the mines, just run past them. Get some good salvage here. Just junk laying on the ground. Let's see. Is there anything? Yeah, we'll take moot fruit. I like moot fruit. Let's also take jet. Okay. And so now when we pop up this side, we'll be right in the middle of the raider nest. And we'll also, should detect, Mass Pike uh, Tunnel West, or East. Should. 
and at this point, once we come out of this particular raider base, then we'll go south and we'll just skirt Diamond City to the south and head on over to the castle. I mean, we could go through the ruins and just detect a bunch of locations, too. We could do that. Get some XP along the way. But at this point, I think I would rather go to the castle first. And then head north, help out Greentop Nursery, clear out the ghouls from, uh... <laughs> Someone's out there. Oh, they like teleported. That was bullshit. When you turn up, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Right away. And with that iguana on a stick. I really couldn't see the raider all that well, but I could see the movement. The bottle cap. There it is. Oh yeah, perfect. Find anything useful on them? Yeah, they're up there. Man, that guy was going fast. <laughs> well, we're just starting to have fun. Safety off. I think we have company. That's a hell of a firefight over there. You can even hear it. We're missing a hell of a party. Holy fuck. Well, okay. There should be salvage. <laughs> Fuck. Children of Adam. And gunners. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just gonna let these idiots shoot and kill each other for a minute. Gunner private there. Oh, thank you. I'm hitting that gunner commander. If I could kill this child about him before. <laughs> there we go. Where I heard something. All right. That, ladies and gents, is how you uh, just kind of run in. Yeah, I'll take the gamma guns. Ooh, I will definitely take that nuka grenade. Fuck yeah. Wow, there's more fighting in there. Christ. Plasma cartridge. And to the spoils. See what that gunner commander had on them. Clearly, this is what exploded. What do you got? Ooh, you've got an excited plasma pistol. That's pretty decent. Pretty sure we're not alone. That's how we do things around here. Raiders, probably. Yep. Raiders, <laughs> drawn by my, uh, drawn by my, um, the light. Yeah, we'll take the gamma gun, drawn by the light of my pit boy here. Well, we gotta go this way anyway. Hey, cat! Welcome aboard, cat. But I kind of want to go in here and just make sure there's nothing to be had in here. 
I don't think there's anything in here, but we'll look anyway. Except for some salvage. Oh, we'll take the telephone. Well, I'm glad I checked. Yeah, good old Porta Diner. Very unlikely. But... You hear that? Damn. It got me. Fucker. <sighs> I don't need cram. Well, they, these people hung and managed to make it for a little while. All right, yep. If I try enough times, it will eventually grab the moldy bread. It's a factor of your um, your luck stat. Okay, there's nothing, nothing else useful here. This might be a good time, however, for me to just take a quick, quick, quick break. I should have done that before the loading screen. <laughs> That's so it goes. Yeah, that'll be the plan. Once the loading screen's done, because the, the main reason I don't just leave is because I don't want to get shot. Oh, fuck. You gotta be kidding me here. All right. Hmm. <clears throat> Fine. Scavengers showed up while I was out here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't. Hmm. Fucking scavengers. They'll shoot you the second they get their eyes on you. Fucking bastards. Are they shooting at me? Oh, fuck. There they are, but from a different direction. I love fucking Boston. It's such a, like, a chaotic fest. I think these are raiders in here, aren't they? Where the hell did these assholes show up from? Now, this is not like a raider base. They just showed up out of nowhere. Awesome. Just because they could, apparently. Here, we'll take the ceramic. Okay. Now then. Now... I will try that one more time. <laughs> Give me one second. I'm just going to get a reload on my Coke. I will be up and down downstairs in a minute. Maybe two. Okay, that works. All right. A 
let's see. Let's head through this way. And like any good Fallout game, it is super easy to get sidetracked. <laughs> I think that's the turret I activated or warned. Come on, dog me, get out of the way, buddy. Yeah, it's gotta be the turret, it's not moving around. I'll take 50 caliber. Find anything useful on him? Nope, it actually is a raider. But I do remember there being a turret around here. And there's the turret I remember. <laughs> hey, McCready, you might want to take care of that, buddy. <laughs> oh, I couldn't get it before it struck him. I thought it had a tire iron, so I was just waiting for it. And then it shot me. I'm like, oh, I should probably not just wait. I'll take silver. Okay. Ooh, gold flated flip lighter. Perfect. We'll be back for latent towers later. Take a frag mount grenade. Now, I do remember there being frag mines. Yep, and there they are. There are the mines. Up here, we'll take that. Make our way over here, nice and slow, nice and careful. Disable this mine. Yeah, sure, we'll take the frag mine. We'll disable this one. Not that I don't remember that because it blew me up once before. <laughs> that, uh, that happened once. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we're just gonna have to go through this radiated shithole. Um, the alternative is to head up this way. Yeah, you know what? Let's head up that way real quick. Take the gas canister. Yep, we'll scavenge. We'll scavenge a bit. There'll be a super mutant or two around that area. We've discovered all that. But if we're if we hang it over here, we shouldn't come anywhere near that super mutant. Well, there should only be one. Could just take out the one, but nah, we're we're this far over. We could avoid it. Ooh. Give me ammo. Well, or Radex. Sure, we'll just take Radex. We discovered everything over there. Let's see. What else is there to explore over here? Oh, we leveled up, right. We should probably do that. Let's, let's see what we got. Yes, we will take Mr. Sandman. Perfect. Hooray for silenced weapons, especially our... Thank you. They replaced all the guards. <laughs> I love when it gets the distance wrong. And it'll like give you that pickpocket icon. It won't actually do that. If you hit pickpocket, you can't actually do anything. It's just a little bit of a glitch, but a harmless one. It just shows up every so often. So you might see like Rad Roach pickpocket, but you obviously can't pickpocket a Rad Roach. Actually, I think if you get close enough, it might let you. Now, I just looked. And you were not there. I just must have just missed her. Not the end of the world. Yeah, she must. There's nowhere for her to sit, so I'm not sure where she was. Whatever. Okay. Now we're back south. I'm still going nowhere near Big John's Salvage. Fuck that. That is Super Mutant Central. Nothing else to salvage there. Yeah, that place is just a den of super mutants. They're uh, they're hardcore. 
Forget that noise. I've already scavenged the shit out of that gas station. So, uh, yeah, we can head down this way. Ooh. Nothing in there. At this point, we'll take all this stuff. Because we're getting close enough to the castle where we can just pick up even heavy salvage. Here's Andrew Station, Den of Raiders. We know that because we were there earlier uh, going over that. We could see them all down there. Already picked up the fusion core out of that generator. We're just going to cruise over here, close to University Point. We're not actually going to go in University Point. But we'll skirt just north of it. There we go. We got a nice little sunrise. And just like that, we are now in the area of South Boston, where we have been trying to get to. What the hell is that? What'd you find, boy? What'd you find, boy? Are we, where are we going? No, don't go too far that way. I think you see something in University Point, but we're not going in there. I think that's what he got caught whiffed up. So when Dogmeat finds something, it just means he found a container of stuff that might be useful. Ah, Pikmin's calling card. <laughs> Pikmin's uh, handiwork. At some point, we got to get up to Good Neighbor. And, uh, I mean, granted, I say that a lot, but you could see why. Because if you just follow every little lead, you'll never do, you'll never get anything accomplished. That raider saw us for a half second. <laughs> just keep going this way. We don't want to fight the raiders right now. I'd rather get artillery first, and then we can bombard the fuck out of them with artillery. Oh, we got ourselves a little bit of a fight up here. Oh, bunch of Minutemen fucked something up. Ah, uh, vicious mongrels. Oh, and raiders. Fucking raiders. Oh, he killed another Minuteman, though. Oh, that sucks. All right. Well, yeah, we'll take the mongrel dog meat. Oh, they've set up a uh, little way station here. Awesome. Well, then, yeah, these raiders are always going to get fucked up when they show up here. Bad place to try to attack me. We'll take radstag meat for sure. We will take all that. Cool. Cool, cool. All right. Good to know that you guys... Yeah. All right. This fucking works. <laughs> Pieces of the car that exploded. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get blood leaf. I'd like to get that blood leaf, but I don't have any radiation damage, and I'd rather not get any. Let's get closer to here and see what the story is. I think I've already got everything that was potentially useful and not nailed down here. Yeah, nothing here. Yeah, nothing here. We already, I already scavenged the ever living hell out of this place. But considering I'm about to, oh, no, I did not take the gunner or the beer bottle or this. Okay. Well, then I'm glad I came back up here and we'll take that fishing rod. Perfect. Marvelous. We don't need the gunner flannel uh, jacket. Oh, we'll take this blood leaf though. Yeah, and the radio's back on. So even if you turn it off, it turns back on for this quest. Alert. Alert. One of our settlements is asking for help. All Minutemen, please respond if you're in range. Wonder which settlement. Defend Abernathy Farm, huh? All right. We'll have to do that. Oh, great. And we got a rad storm showing up. That's That's just fucking lovely. Well, all right. Let's go talk to Ronnie Shaw here. Yeah, we got a bunch of Minutemen, so I'm not sure why. <clears throat> ah, there you are. Finally. I've been waiting to talk to you. 
Captain, lady, I really don't want to talk to you. Here I am. What do you need? I'm Ronnie Shaw, Commonwealth Minutemen. At least I was. Back before Joe Becker got himself killed and the idiots took over. I love this particular response. Joe Becker? Who's that? That's just sad. General Becker used to run the Minutemen. The last real leader we ever had. After he died, there wasn't anybody left with the guts and brains to pull things together. I'd still like to hear what you came to talk to me about. Heard you were trying to get the Minutemen back on their feet. Thought I'd come see the new general for myself. So what's your story? What makes you think anybody even wants the Minutemen back? This is Radio Freedom. The Minutemen are the good guys again. People are starting to realize that. I've heard some good things. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Now that I'm here, I can see you really need my help. What gave it away? The gigantic holes in the castle? We can always use more experienced soldiers. Yeah, you're not kidding. But I had something more specific in mind. And I'm probably the only one who still remembers this. But the castle's armory was located in the West Bastion. All of our best equipment was stored here. Weapons, ammo, schematics, you name it. Come on, I'll show you. All right, lead the way, Ronnie. Man, holy fuck, does that storm look awesome. <laughs> intact. Door still sealed. Bastion hasn't collapsed. Trick now is finding a way in. Do you know some way to open this door? No. And even if we could blast it open, we'd probably destroy what's inside while we're here. If you can't go through, go around. Let's have a look at the northeast bastion. Yeah, I had a feeling once we came back here we would get another Minutemen quest. That's okay. Now once we finish this particular quest, we could switch that little switch there, and it turns off the speakers, and we won't just get quests every time we just come to the castle. Although the castle does look nice lit up. So now is as good a time as any to, uh, all right, so you're a minute man, you're, okay, so let's, him, command, we need a medic, you're it. Got it, okay. Thank you. Perfect. All right, so that's Come you taking. General, you must have some way to clear this rubble. Uh, yeah, but you're going to need to give me a minute. Put this back up on here. We can store the missile launcher. We don't need that. Okay. All right. For right now, let's just scrap that. Let's get down there and see if there's still a way through. Now I'm wishing I'd just gone and gotten the blood leaf. Hey, Warhammer, how you doing, buddy? Oh, why would you do that to me? Why? What did I do to you? I thought we were friends. <laughs> Everything is awesome. <laughs> oh, God, why? Uh, hey there. I know there was a way through down here. <laughs> All right, and now we cruise through here and we try not to die. And that is easier said than done in this place. Take the brain fungus. Actually, what I should do is just... Uh, pretty dark down here. Cleaning we robot, take a day staff. off or something. Okay, we're just gonna disable things and we'll, we'll do a scavenging run later. We have to worry about this. Fucking gas. 
Oh, and there's radioactive shit in here. Because, you know. Because. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have enough to worry about. All right, so we got a lot of cement and cannonballs. Good. We could use the cement down here to fix the castle walls. And we will be putting that cement to good use. All right. Slowly but surely. But yeah, dude, I'm, I'm doing good. Life is... Life is pretty good. It'll be a miracle if this whole building doesn't collapse right on top of us. Okay. The danger there is that the turret shoots at you and hits that fucking, um... And hits one of those mines. Um, I got the song. You know, the song had just left. Uh, yes. I've uh, been using that to test audio equipment for years. Oh, why would you do that to yourself? Granted, it's a great song, but it's super catchy. Uh, everyone at work. Oh, oh, oh my God. You torture everybody at work with that? Spent makes some good underwater gravity boots. Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> Welcome back, ghosty. As you can see, we're uh, we're clearing the castle now, finally. Okay, that's one big circle. Good, we dealt with this. Sure, we'll grab that. We're not going to grab any of this stuff right now. Okay, that we need to disable. We don't need that getting... You know what, I should be picking these up, because I really don't need those. Actually, I probably should have left that. No, I need to be just leaving this shit alone. <laughs> yeah, we are going to pick up the frag mines, though, because even when they're deactivated, if they're shot, I think they tend to go off. Ah, uh, still out, but on a break of sorts. Nice. Okay. There we go. Welcome back. <laughs> oh shit. Now we need to run. Now we need to run. Oof. All right. Thankfully, that pillar. Find anything useful on him? You all right there, Shaw? Sarge uh, fucked you up a little bit there. <laughs> See, uh, yeah, there's an explosion here, so I must have must have hit it. We'll take the ammo. All right, so that happened. Let's see. I used to know this password. One if I land. Nah. Yeah. Good luck with weeds, there, uh, Warhammer. For the Commonwealth. Ah, darn it. Oh, it's been a long time. United we stand. Yeah, that was it. And you need Ronnie. Even if you clear that and go through here, you can never hack this terminal. So here are a couple of uh, Easter eggs that are kind of cool. Well, here's General McGann. <laughs> hey, Ronnie. I guess the uniform is yours now, if you want it. This old geezer doesn't need it anymore. Rest in peace, General. Your fight is done, and the Minutemen live on. There's no point in getting all sentimental about something that happened 40 years ago. Come on, we're almost through. Yep, of course, now I'm wielding too much. So yeah, Amontillado bottles, we got the Amontillado wine, and right over here, we got a skeleton walled up in the castle. So a nice little uh, reference to the cask of Amontillado. Take all the Amontillado wine. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm overweight anyway. So user logs. Attacked in the night. 
Last night, around 0200, woken up by a crash that shook the whole castle. Lieutenant Foster reported some huge creature had breached the western wall. Summoned a radio for reinforcements. Then I used the tunnels to lock down the armory. Smart man. Hey, Freakbot, how did the rest of the, uh, of the randomizer go? For the love of God, Montresor. <laughs> All I can do now is set up defenses, wait for someone to dig me out. Yeah, that then never, never came. It's now clear that we must have lost the battle. Yep, you guys lost the battle. I've heard something pounding on the armory door, but the walls will uh, fall in before the door gives way. In case they attempt to clear the rubble from my quarters, I've set up all the defenses that were left down here. I don't like to think about super mutants, super mutants using our artillery against helpless settlements. I'm running low on water, but I still hope that the survivors will regroup and mount a counterattack in time. Yeah, they did not. Likely be my final entry. My supplies have all run out. Ah, and you got to skip Misery Mire. Nice. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that dungeon. I know it'll only make the dehydration worse, but at this point, I'd rather meet my fate with a toast. General McGann, Commonwealth Minuteman. So, General Becker was the last general, and we met the... And this is the last general for, uh, for this place. Oh, right. I was supposed to actually go in there and open the security door, huh? Oh, right. Security door. Open door. Right, I think we're just supposed to walk over to this door and open it. <laughs> and, of course, I'm... Uh, Carrying way too much shit. Yeah, I didn't need to open that. So congrats on another randomizer finished. We're about to wrap up the castle quest here with old guns. Finally. The thing I'm looking for while we're here is one of those funny looking hats. I always wanted one of them. Of course, I'm walking slow as shit. Okay, here we are. Ah, uh, let's see if this still opens from here. I think she's gonna open it, right? Yep. Perfect. And now we're on the other side. There we go. Told you I'd get us in here. Now, let's see what kinds of goodies are left. There we go. We got some good shit here. Excellent. The armory's still intact. Everything we need just waiting for us. And the cream of the crop. Schematics for building artillery. That's what we need. I have to admit, Ronnie, having artillery would help out quite a bit. Oh, <laughs> we used to rain down fire on death claws and super mutants alike. It was a glorious thing. All right, let's get going. Don't forget to grab some smoke grenades, too. All right, so we'll take flares and artillery smoke grenades. Uh, we'll leave the fat man there. We're not going to take that. Actually, I want to kind of just leave everything in here. We'll let it look like an actual proper artillery uh, armory. But we will grab everything out of the tool chest there. Let's see, do I bother with these laser muskets? I will take the mini nuke though. Uh, yeah, I gotta take the 10 millimeter rounds at least. <laughs> Definitely gotta take that. Oh my goodness, as soon as I get to the workbench, I could finally dump all this crap. First things first. Let's also take some rat away. You know, while I'm at it. Oh, this is one of them. Ah, it's zero. Okay, cool. So if I just hit zero, I'll take some, take some, uh, I'll take a stim pack. Oh my goodness. I walk so slow when <laughs> I'm encumbered. You know what? It just occurred to me. Those workbenches, I could have just opened the damn workbench from there. I didn't have to walk over here. We're almost there now. Oh, dear God. Today, Violet, today. There we go. Of course, it's my own fault for forgetting I could do all that. All right, store all junk. There we go. Squirrel bits, irradiated blood, carrot, corn, root fruit, blood leaf. Oh, yeah, all this shit. 
Let's see. Uh, right, I picked up all that Amontillado wine. I have a purpose for that, though. Okay. Let's see. Mm, we could put a Minuteman outfit in here. I have, well, have purposes for those. Gamma guns can go in here. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Save. We're almost done here. Now all we need to do... Okay, here's the cool part. We got five beds. Let's cruise in here. And we'll store these. Uh, what's going on here? Wait. Wait. Can't store these? Why can't I store these? Must be something up with the quest. Maybe it'll let me do it later? That's weird. That is very bizarre that it won't let me store the laser turrets. Normally it lets you store those. Yeah. It will let me store the fat man, but not that? Fine. That's very, very odd, but whatever. Up here you go. We'll bring this laser turret up here. Fine. <laughs> it's going to make me drag them one at a time. And we'll do that. Really not that big a deal, but it's peculiar that it wouldn't let me do that. Yeah, you really won't let me store it. I'm not sure why. wonder if I had a mod that kind of fucked with these. go. Let's grab this other one. Definitely want to bring these out. So if we're doing this, we're not doing it half-assed. Okay. Power. We'll do this. How far over can I get this guy? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I can't get it to reach. Oh, that's so lame. Okay, fine. We'll do that then. Uh, sure, we'll just build you there. I don't have enough power for all of these. That's okay. Let's go into guard post turrets. Build a couple of more. Okay. Ah, damn it. put you there for right now. Good. All right. Now we've got a minimum of fucking defenses. Scrap these. Scrap these. Scrap that. Scrap that. Okay. Resources. You need to be able to plant root fruit. fine for right now. I just need to assign somebody to that. How about you? Uh, no, we'll wait on you. Because what we need to do is we'll cruise up here. Now we've cleared off that. Structure special. There we go. Alright, so we've built ourselves an artillery cannon. Now that Minuteman was just here. Not crazy, right? There was a Miniman literally just here. Where did that fucker just go? <sighs> he was right here. 
Can you go inside? Just need to find Minuteman and assign them to it. Where are you? You were literally just here. I saw him. I could always reassign our pharmacist, but I'd rather not assign the pharmacist. I like having uh, our doctor here. But this, let's see, are you in here? No, you're not in here. I don't see you down this hallway. I don't see you down that hallway. Where the fuck did that dude go? The one in the blue, like the light blue jacket. Are you in here? Are you in the mess hall? No, you're not in the mess hall. I mean, we'll have to get this up and running in a minute. I mean, unless I imagined that dude here. Did I, did I imagine that dude? Did I imagine that dude? Okay, we need to assign uh, a Minuteman to the uh, to that. And we'll scrap that. We'll get materials for it. I don't remember that being here, but that could be a mod. It does that. Okay, here's all this. Oh, what the fuck? <sighs> this is bullshit. Okay, well, while I'm down here, let's fucking build another generator because we're gonna need it actually let's uh oh well we can't I should have gotten science to build that but oh well fine structures wood floors shack foundation come on snap to that you're not gonna snap to it because the fucking that's there aren't you Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Thank you. Good grief. That was way harder than it should have been. Yeah, I still can't. I need rank one of science at least. Okay. Now we got all the other defenses from that other laser turrets. Oof, Katzel, lots of area to work on. Yeah. Yeah, there really is, Ghosty. You know, you know the score. So I'm trying to build uh, and assign artillery to this fucking thing, but oh, there you are. Where did you go? Where did you go? That's okay. You, I need you to assign. I need to assign you up here, buddy. Perfect. Where did that fucker go? I I know he was there before. Whatever. There we go. All right, now we got artillery assigned. That's what I was hoping for. That's what I was going for, see that whole thing. Uh, but while we're at it, let's... Uh, uh, I don't think actually I need to do that. I sh the castle should just spawn Minutemen, but you know what? Let's... There we go. Perfect. And so now people should show up here and I should be able to do all that. Okay. Now we talk to Ronnie. <laughs> That's why you need that town bell thing. Yeah, you know what? I could have done that. Ah, looks like you've got everything we need. Ah, gosh darn it. It's good to see artillery here again. Now here's the thing about the big Nothing guns. They can't they fire at anything too close. But their range is impressive. That's what the smoke grenades are for. Toss one of those at the bad guys. If we have artillery in range, we'll confirm over the radio and target our fire on your smoke. But first, we better do a test fire. Make sure we're hitting what we're aiming at. You see that little building over there? We'll use that for our aiming point. Keep your radio on and tuned to Radio Freedom so we can confirm we're ready. Excellent. Now we target artillery smoke grenades. And now we wait for the fun. 
<laughs> okay, you've got your smoke on the target. You might want to stand back. Yeah, you know, just in case. <clears throat> And just like that, we once again have access to artillery. It's going to eventually start firing. Open fire, guys. Today, motherfuckers, open fire. I give you an order. Open fire. There it goes. <laughs> That's the only issue with artillery, is they don't always respond very promptly. I think what it does is it reflects... That looks good from here. You've now got artillery support. Use it wisely, <laughs> Cool, and just like that, McCready likes us. Even more. So let's, uh, let's go over here. Let's turn this fucking speaker off. <clears throat> now that we have the armory back, you can resupply here whenever you run low on supplies. Anything you need right now? Let me see what you've got. Here's, uh, what we have on hand. <laughs> we hear more explosions. So yeah, Ronnie Shaw acts as a quartermaster. So this is a really awesome, uh... Uh, legendary gauze rifle does 50% limb damage. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't think I'm going to spend money on that, but it's, it's still pretty neat. And, you know, laser rifles, laser muskets galore here. Uh, let's see. Yes, I definitely want 10 millimeter ammo. Definitely going to need that. Uh, you know what? I might even just buy a mini nuke here. Just because it's so rare to get mini nukes. But we could always buy mini nukes from her. I'm not super concerned about that. Uh, let's sell all those 38. Let's sell the 50 cal. Let's sell the flamer fuel. I rarely use flamers. Let's sell the shotguns. I never use shotguns. Uh, Alright. And just like that, she's giving us money. So that's good. Cool. We'll take that. Yep. Perfect. We made money, and now I've got tons of much better ammo, much better ammo situation. All right, so now we turn that off, and now we don't have to worry about quests just spawning because we happen to show up at the fucking castle. God, that used to drive me crazy. Uh, all right, so, man, I love just looking out, looking out at the at the bay here. <laughs> There's Boston Airport. Um, but yeah, we've got ourselves a nice little uh, a nice little base finally. So let's start actually tidying this up. Yeah, let's deal with this. Perfect. Let's build some beds. Yeah, this is a case where, yeah, I build these beds here because we uh, kind of need the space. <laughs> uh, we'll do this one here. And then we'll rotate that one. We'll go with that there. Perfect. Good, good, good. I think I could probably get away with that. But, eh, that's the problem with that one. Yeah, we'll just go with that. That's fine. Okay, but just like that, we've got tons of beds. We're good. Okay. Beds. Build myself a bed. There we go. Okay. So, our ammo box... Now we'll put in a bunch of our, uh, no, we'll put in, we'll put in that. I'll keep those. I'll keep that nuka grenade just in case I really need a nuka grenade. Uh, yeah, we'll put all the frag mines in there. Uh, you know what? We'll put one bottle cap mine in there and I'll just take two. Okay. But now we could kind of use this to front load a lot of that stuff. There's uh, General McGann's old laser musket. We could put that over in here. Same thing with... Uh, actually, let's see. What do I actually look like in a Minuteman? What do I actually look like if I put the general's uniform on? <clears throat> yeah, I'd have to turn all the other stuff uh, 
all the other stuff invisible, but that actually doesn't look too bad. That looks kind of cool. I might, uh, I might just go with the Minuteman outfit here. I might. I might. Well, we'll switch it back to that. Okay. Yeah, that, uh, that does work better. It's clearly not designed in mind to have other things affixed to it. So decorations, this display, armor racks. Do do do. Okay. Um. Man, man, general's hat. We equip it. Man, man, general's uniform, and we equip it. Perfect. Okay. So now we've got this set up in here. So if I ever need this, I'll just grab it. Okay. Let's take care of uh, this. Number one. Let's move this over. Okay. Let's fix the paintings for now. Uh. That works. Right? Maybe. Let's see. Okay, I'm using this as my own personal space now. So wall decorations, paintings. Let's see, what painting do I want? Let's go with something that fit, fits the motif of a Minuteman kind of place. Let's see. Yeah, that works. Hem. Go with that. Hell yeah, we'll go with some Napoleon. Fuck yeah. And, uh... Yeah, we'll go with something... Okay, much better. Okay. La 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 la. And one thing I will do... Let's go with furniture, tables... <clears throat> Let's see, something like that maybe? Yeah, this'll do. We'll go with that. Yeah, we'll go in another put another of these chairs. Cool. Okay, now let me cruise over here. I should have typewriter in that. We'll just go to the junk. Fine. Wait. <laughs> if we've got it, it'll be near the top. Typewriter. Perfect. Thank you. Did you start collecting antiques? We'll cruise over here and we'll just drop the typewriter on top of it. Cool. Okay, so now I've got a place where I could at least work. <laughs> cool. Unfortunately, there's no, like, animation to actually type on that. So that kind of sucks, but whatever. We'll live without it. So I've got a meeting room. I've got a typewriter. I've got my extra, um, well, I've got a footlocker where I could put clothing if I wanted to. I've got my ammo box where I could put all this shit. And, uh, let's see... We'll put all the Amontillado wine in here. That works. Okay. Do I want to put any of this crap in there? I don't think so. I think we're good. Let's go over here now. I'll leave this B for right now. Oh, cool. We got a new settler. Perfect. Let's see, did I put a minute? Yes, I did. Excellent. Yeah, that's the only issue. Is, um... I just need to trade gear with you. Sure. I wish Minutemen would spawn here. There we go. That's better. That's okay. It's one of the reasons why I collect... Oh, good. You're already assigned to food. Perfect. Good, good, good. All right. So we're making food. I don't need to worry about that. Oh, look at you. <clears throat> Hi, how are you? I'm new around here. I wanted to personally thank you for giving us this opportunity. Any place you want me to pitch in? Did you need anything? Thanks, but I really can't think of anything we need. Excellent. Okay. 
So that takes care of that. We got a couple of settlers, which we need a couple of civilians anyway, especially to like take care of food outside, although I have the actual Minuteman on that. But you know what? We can, you know what? We can, we can fix that. We can fix that. Eh, fuck it. As I'm get, as I get other, uh, heads up. Well, let's talk to him. So, you impressed yet? I told you I was a damn good shot. I don't know. I haven't really noticed. <laughs> Actually, I'm quite impressed. Yeah, I thought you might be. I'm completely self-taught, you know. Picked up a sniper rifle when I was 10 and never looked back. Always thought it was smarter to hit my targets at long range. I mean, why take chances, right? Besides, I had to come up with every trick in the book to survive the Capital Wasteland. What were you doing in the Capital Wasteland? I was born there. Lived underground in a place called Little Lamplight with a bunch of other kids. Left there when I was around 16. We kind of had a policy there. No adults. When you were 16, you packed up and left. I know, it sounds crazy, but having adults around was something we couldn't trust. Makes sense, I suppose. Nothing makes sense anymore. You just roll with the punches. Anyway, when I hit 16, I ended up wandering the Capital Wasteland for a while. I took the odd job here and there, but things were pretty hot with the Brotherhood of Steel running the show. So I hitched a ride with a caravan and made my way north until I ended up here. Made a pretty decent name for myself before I heard that the gunners needed some sharpshooters. Biggest mistake of my life. They were animals. Killed anything that moved if it got in their way. I went with it for a while because the caps were good, but... I don't know. I guess it started to catch up with me. So I quit. Which... Pretty much brings us to now. So there you have it. My whole life in a nutshell. Sounds like the road can be a lonely place. Until you meet someone to share it with. I... well, I... I, I never thought of it that way. Maybe that's why I feel so comfortable telling you all this. Look, I know I tend to be a pain in the ass... I mean, I know I tend to be arrogant and I come off like I want to be alone. But nothing could be further from the truth. Being alone scares the heck out of me. And now that we've been traveling together for a while, I'm beginning to realize how much I missed having someone I could depend on. I just wanted you to know that I'm going to do everything I can to see that it stays this way. Well, that's all I had to say. Hope you got something out of all that. I know I did. Yep, so nothing like having McCready just tell us his life story about growing up in the capital wasteland. Uh, at Little Lamplight, leaving when he was 16, and then getting up with the gunners. That was uh, clearly a mistake on his part. Okay, so let's... If this is going to be our headquarters, then we need to fix this fucking thing. Okay, so there are a couple of ways to do this. And we've got... We should have enough... We should have enough where this doesn't suck. Emphasis on should. Yeah, fuck. God damn it. God damn it, Seraph. Let's see. Uh. Yeah, because if we go over here, then is it just a gap? Eh, fuck it. We'll do. We'll do this. That was cool. We'll do that. So it's not topped off. Okay, is that straight? Of course it's not straight. Why would it be straight? All right, you go over there for a minute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I think we got that now. Okay, is that straight now? No. Now it's not really centered all that well. Should have centered that now properly. Let's take a look. Take a look at this. Let's see how it is. All right. How does that look? That's somewhat. Yeah, that looks centered-ish. That looks centered-ish. That should be fine. Yeah. All right. That will do for this part. Now we got to worry about this fucking thing. This part's always a gigantic, colossal pain in the. Well. Now, this one's not too bad. 
this is the this gap is the one that tends to be a complete and utter pain in the ass. But yeah, I like doing these to fill in the gaps if I can. Ooh, okay. Let's try this one. Okay, because sometimes they'll snap like that, and you can really make it work. Yeah, no, it's not that one's not gonna snap, but the rest of these might. Let's see what we can do with this. Of course, it's not centered. It's completely off kilter. Just like that. Yeah, yeah. It's totally, totally crooked. But you know what? Let's try. Ooh, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Ooh. Oh ho ho! And it let us build there. Sweet. All right, that was a actually a really nice castle wall fit thing. Now the question is, can we make it actually work in here? That's going to be the big question. But let's find out. So wood. We go over to this floor. We go to our tried and true trick. We build here. And then we go over to concrete floors. And we try to snap that. Yeah, it's not going to do that there. But we can snap there. Okay, it's not going to snap there for a moment. But that's fine. Because what we can do is we can store that. We can store this. And just like that, we can snap those. We'll store this one. And we'll... Work with me here. Work with me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. We got that one. It was there for a second. It was there for a second. It wasn't this thing. Come on. There it is. Okay, we got it to snap. Perfect. All right, so now I just have to go back inside. <laughs> yeah, it can be frustrating when you're trying to actually make it work. Trying to fool it into working is uh, an interesting process at times. But just like that, we've got we've got this under control. Oh, this one didn't snap in the right order. Good. Okay, I didn't have to rebuild the whole thing. Okay, so now up here you go. Okay. And it'd be really nice if we can get that one to snap here. I don't think we can. I don't think it's going to let us do that. Nope, but that's all right. We can at least do that. Okay. These are all in the right order. Yep, so far so good. Okay. All right. And just like that, we've at least fixed this wall pretty well, all things considered. Uh, none of these are clipped in here, right? Uh, sort of. Shit. Ah, shit. I clipped them in here. Oh, uh, that looks like shit, man. Damn, it clipped in here. All right. But these look pretty good. That's okay. That's okay. Let's cruise over here. Let's, uh... Let's fix that. <laughs> okay, well, let's at least get those out of here. We don't need that clipping through the wall. Uh, we'll have to hook up that electrical with all of that. We'll cruise over back over here and let's see what we can do with that. Cruise back over here. Okay. All right, all right, so we can't really do that, but what we can do is we can do this. That's that's okay. That is okay, and it should still look okay. Let's see, how does it look on the outside? Oh, well, let's not do that. Yeah, it's a little bit of a gap here. Hmm. Hmm. What if I do this? Yeah, it's not going to clip to that, is it? 
Yeah, it's not going to clip to that. All right. Well, the floor over there is really not that big of a deal. I'd rather have that than it clipping through the damn uh, ceiling over here. It will do. It will do. It's not the end of the world. Okay. So we've got two walls finished. Of course, it's raining, so it's also fucking hard to see. That's kind of a pain in the ass. But okay. Yep. All right. That'll do. That'll do. All right, so now I have to just figure out is how to do this one. Yeah, that's probably what I'm better off doing, huh? Yeah. All right. And then we'll just do a floor like this here or something. Uh, come on. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we'll just do that. That's that's all right. Um, you know what? We'll do the same thing. There. No. We'll do. Ugh. Really? Fuck, man. I'll just live without it. It'll be fine. But we will put our little artillery cannon right there. So that as people can show up, we can put an artillery cannon there. <sighs> what am I doing? Structures, concrete, floors. Maybe what I'll do instead is I'll just do something like this. Yeah, that'll be fine. That's... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not great, but it's adequate. Okay. So let's put you over here. Build another laser turret. Hell yeah, laser turret. Use requires... Oh, I need science for that. I can't actually build those. Well, all right. Fine. Machine gun turrets it is. All right. Good luck to anything trying to get in on this side. That'll do for now. Save. That's two walls fixed. Yeah, this, this particular gap tends to give me a lot of trouble. So for this, what we'll do is we'll go to structures, we'll go to concrete, we'll go to walls, and we'll try and build walls in here that'll fix this. Uh, that'll be in the wall, that'll be in the ground here. Let's just do this first. See what we got here. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Let's get up here. Yeah, that's uh fuck. God damn it. It's a pain in the ass. Alright, still a little crooked, but when looking at it, actually, that looks pretty straight. It starts off here. Oh, nope, it's still ever so slightly crooked. Let's try this direction instead. That's probably more straight. Alright, so it clips in there pretty well and then merges over here. Alright, let's try that now. Put that up here, put you up here. Okay. Hmm. All right, well, we'll go with that. 
And hello, cat. Welcome back, kitty kitty. All right, that looks like a pretty good wall patch. Let's see what we could do to the other side. Hey, kitty kitty. Fixing the castle walls is always kind of a pain in the ass. Hello, cat. I love you, cat. What are we doing, cat? Of course, now when we want to go to the back end where all of our power generators are, we're going to have a little bit of an adventure. Because we have to run around the whole way. Let's, let's just do that. Okay. Let's cruise over here. All right, let's run. All right, there we go. Now, let's head back up here. Yeah, at some point I'll need to have a uh, a trader here or a clother and then we can buy Minutemen outfits from him or her. Life will be good. But that so far, that's a good outside wall. We're going to stick with that. Now all we have to do, we'll move this because that's going to interfere with things. Let's move that slightly. Let's go with concrete floors here. You're not going to build that wall, are you? You're going to make me do this, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to make me do this. You son of a bitch. <sighs> Fine. But that's my concern. Well, you built one of them there. You didn't want to build that one. But, oh, you'll let me build that, though. Okay. Hmm. Will you let me do this? No? You're not going to let me do that? You'll let me build that floor, but you won't let me build this one here. Makes no fucking sense. All right, fine. Yeah, let's do that one there. It's not going to be, there's not going to be a gap anyway. Fine, we'll stick with that one. It's not the end of the world. Really would be, okay. Now you'll let me do it. All right, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Let's move this guy over a little bit. Let's see what you can do with this. Now you got... Yeah, okay. Oh, so close. So close. So very close. You're not going to build that are here either, are you? Nope. You're not going to let me build that either. Okay. Let's try... Nope. Not an upper floor. Okay. Oh, you son of a bitch. You really won't build that there? Oh. You absolute bastard. All right, let's store you. Maybe... You know what? Whatever. I don't know why it will build that there and not the other thing, but fuck it. We can do that. We can make that work. All right. That is just so silly to me. Let's try and do that one more time. Concrete, floors... Really would be nice if it would build that. Yeah, it's just not going to. Okay, fine. Whatever. It's not the end of the world. It's just annoying. But you don't build that. Why? Why, why, why? Drives me crazy. Drives me crazy. Alright, well, whatever. Nope. You are fine. Okay, but the important part here is... This is now, at least in this sense... Secured from the outside. Although that looks like shit, doesn't it? Let's see, though. Now, should let me build these. Yep. And it will. Okay, perfect. You know what? Just for the amusement of it. Now you do. Okay. Well, oh. But well, fine. Okay, whatever. There's a little bit of a light crack, but I'm not all that worried about that. I much prefer this, even with that slight seam, to that gigantic, thick upper floor I really didn't like that at all but you know what I could probably I could use this space as like a uh, like a storage area or something you know what I could use this as a power armor hanger and we'll just we'll make we'll make do with that but at the very least from the outside our walls are properly set up now so let's see what am I doing with all of this think what we'll do really quick Let's, uh, shit. You know what? No, let's, let's go with something like this. If 
question is, can I get it to actually work? Probably not. Probably can't get it to connect to that. Ooh, I can. not Sweet. That's pretty cool. How far over can I get it to go? That's uh, about as far over as I can get it to go. But that'll work. Lights. Do-do-do. Right here. There we go. You're about there. We'll go with that. Perfect. Let's light up this place a little bit better. Excellent. Okay, so you're around that line. Okay, you need to come down about there. Okay, cool. And then, marvelous. So you can go around there. Right? No. Right around here. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll rig up all this power over here. See how far over I can get this thing to go. Right. You can still connect to that. Excellent. Probably something along these lines. <laughs> I wasn't going for that pun, but <laughs> it worked. <laughs> okay. Probably something along those lines. Right around, right around there's. Make that work. Come on, buddy. Ah. Oh. Excellent. And just like that, we've powered everything in there. Maybe we'll do one more over here just to do it. All right, cool. And uh, we could do one of these. I think that'd be okay. For now, I won't worry about that. But let's cruise in here. Okay, why? Oh, right. There just needs to be a light in here. There we go. Delightful. Sweet. Okay. And now everything's powered. Let's liquidate that one. I don't think there's anything I really need to use that laser laser uh, uh, musket for. But you know what? Let's just put the laser musket in there. And just like that, we've got ourselves a viable functioning castle. Coming together, slowly but surely. And then once we need more beds, we'll just bring them over here. Ooh, fusion cores. Sweet. I like fusion cores. Okay. Uh, let's put... Yeah, we'll put that laser musket in there. Is there anything else I really want to do with this? I don't think so, but what I will do... First things first. Explosives. Yeah, frag mine. I really don't need to accidentally call down an artillery strike on myself. I don't see dog meat anywhere, but that's fine. Let's... Let's sleep. Wait for the morning. Hey, cat. I love you, cat. Here we go. Perfect. Hey, dog meat. Heads up. Okay. So we'll give dog meat the artillery. Well, we'll give him all but like two. <laughs> that way, whenever I need more, I'll just grab some off of him. Ah, cool. We've got more settlers. Sweet. So we'll build more artillery. Because why not? Cool, you're already assigned to that. Oh, we already built that one. Okay, cool. I'm not going to worry about the rest of the artillery. What I will do, though, now, the cruise over here. What am I doing? Miscellaneous. This was, this is what we'll do here. Find jobs for the unemployed. Assigned to defense. Yep. Marvelous. Okay. All right, now then. Hello, cat. What are we doing, cat? <laughs> now we figure out what we're doing next. Okay. Hello, kitty kitty. I know. I love you too, cat. So we got a couple of things. We need to defend Abernathy Farm. We still need to go up to Finch Farm. Uh, we need to talk to Preston to get that. Oh, so lame. <laughs> hey, Nate, what's going on? <laughs> 
Uh, we still need to deal with the ghouls at Greentop Nursery. And so a lot of these are leading us more into this general area. So here's the National Training Guard. Here's Finch Farm. And we've got a couple of things to do up here. So I'm actually thinking what we'll do is we'll cruise up this way and we'll start doing these. And as we go, we'll build more and more artillery. How are you, my friend? We're just doing side quests. We're having a, we're having a good old time. <laughs> we got a Minuteman patrol here. Ooh, we got some blood leaf. We'll pick up the blood leaf. But yeah, just like that, we fixed the castle walls. So now the castle can actually defend itself properly. Which is oh so nice. Kitty kitty. Let's see. We got movement up here. So I guess the question is, do I want to lob... Or do I want to give our artillery a, try, a test run? What the fuck is going on up here? Okay, it looks like we just have some settlers hanging out here. Hey, guys. Nice job. Uh, but yeah, we could bombard the raiders in here with uh, with our newfound artillery. We could do that. I don't know if, if that really is worth our time. But we could. We now at least have that option. So on we go. But yeah, if we get into a fight with the raiders in there, we're going to be... Oh, fuck. you got to be kidding me. Ran right into that fucking car. <laughs> yeah, so that sucked. Oh, right. I wanted to switch out the uh, scope. Yeah, I did want to switch out the scope. Let's do that really fast. Man, I got tons of ammo for this thing. Oh, lovely. Yeah, it's super awesome. Just run through the radioactive water, Seraph. It's cool. Oh, Raiders heard me. Let's just keep going. Let's just switch out the scope really fast. Considering I'm right here, I really don't want to uh, go that far without switching out the scope. Ugh, should have just run around these damn cars. I can't tell how many times I fight super mutants in there and they throw cars into me. Happens a lot. <laughs> Picking up the pace here. Assuming I don't just go in my uh, Minuteman general uniform here. But I'm inclined to leave uh, General Becker's uniform on display there. Because I can always go with a new uniform. And actually, I've got an idea for that. I mean, it's modded content, but uh, it's a really nice overcoat. And I think it, it look. I think at least it looks nice. Ah, fuck. See, here's the issue with some of this. Now that I'm now that it's light, we can see a little better. Mm -hmm. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Come on, buddy, work with me here. No, you're not gonna work with me. Not gonna work with me. Nope, you're not. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's not perfect, but it's better than having just a gaping hole there. Okay, let's see. Can we do something like that? Yeah, we can. That we can. Come on. Come on. Maybe. Maybe a little. Uh, maybe a little that. No. No. You're not gonna go. You don't want to go. No? No? Alright, well that's... Like I said, that's better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, fuck it. It's close enough. 
It matches inspection at long range. <laughs> Good enough for government work. Let's do what we actually came here for. Long scope. Okay, I need the combat scope. Why did that? Yeah, weird. But all right, combat scope it is. Hey, Polestar, how's it going? What's the difference between a kitty and a comma? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, Nade, what? What's the difference between a kitty and a comma? One is claws at the end of the pause, the other is paws at the end of a clause. Ah, uh, yes. Womp, womp. <laughs> oh, man. That's brutal. <laughs> It does not have snapping. So the snapping in this game can be inconsistent, shall we say. Uh, it's one of the reasons why there are a lot of really popular mods. Oh, we've got a Mirelurk still here. This Mirelurk shouldn't be here. This Mirelurk should be gone. Fuck. This Mirelurk did not despawn like the rest of the Mirelurks did. Well, eventually this Mirelurk will go away. But, um, but yeah, a lot of things in this game snap properly, but a lot of times they, uh, they don't. Kitty cat, why are you playing? No, no, I'm playing modded. Hold on a second. Leo, why, what? Why are you trying to get in there? Why are you trying to go into the closet, honey? What are you doing? Are you a rat? What? Hi, I love you too. We all love you. Hi, you want to come say hi? Sure, come, come say hi. Hi, hi. Come here, cat. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Cleo decided she wanted some attention. Hello, Cleo. What, you came from for some of my water? I don't have water. I only have I only have a Coke. I only have a Coke. Hello, sweetie. Hi, kitty kitty. How's, how's my cat? <laughs> um So yes, uh but no, I am not playing mod free. This is modded, and although all the mods I am using are uh, are lore friendly when I'm not petting the cat. Um Hello, Cleo. Uh, alright. Alright. He hello, kitty kitty. Of course she's just out of uh out of sight here. Let's see. Can I, if I switch to this? Will you see? Will you see her? Yeah, you'll probably see her here. Yep. There. Here's here she is. Although my goodness, the frame, <laughs> the frame rate is abysmally slow because I, uh, I have the uh, game prioritized. But here's here's Kitty Cat. Um. Anyway, let's switch back to uh, let's switch back to the game. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. <laughs> so yeah, clearly, clearly my. Uh, my capture software definitely prioritizes the game. If I had uh, minimized the game or something, that would have been a little better, but yep. Okay. Hello, cat. I know. I know. Okay. Okay. You don't like the collar hitting you. Okay. I, I'm, I'm tucking my, tucking my collars in. Okay. Jeez. The stuff I do for this cat. Oh my goodness. <sighs> All right. But now when we properly do that, yeah, now the scope properly works. So yeah, what I need to do is I just need to off stream configure see through scopes properly to actually work with the pre-existing uh, things. But yeah, like we don't have waves in vanilla uh, see through scopes, for example, like this. This is mod. This is a mod. So otherwise you would have that weird thing we had before. So I switched back to the modded scope. Uh, I don't have too much in the way of weapons. There's our switchblade that we've got. Oh, and this time we have some assholes. Minutemen are fighting something. Hopefully not raiders. Let's see. Well, whatever they fought, they dealt with it pretty quickly. Let's see. Let's reload this. What did you guys kill? Oh, yep, raiders. <laughs> Raider psychos. Uh, but yeah, I tried to stick to as lore-friendly uh, as possible with the mods. And so uh, most of them are graphical improvements. So the vanilla game doesn't doesn't quite look like this. I'm also playing with an EMB, which is uh, just like a graphical layer. Uh, I could probably turn it off really fast, uh, just so you can see it. You know what? I'll leave all this stuff around. Uh, I think if I hit no, uh, I don't actually remember how to turn off the EMB off the top of my head. I think it's Alt Enter, but off the top of my head, I don't remember. Let's save. I think it's Alt Enter. No, not Alt Enter. Maybe it's Shift Enter. 
Okay, that's the menu for the EMB. But how do I disable it? Okay, see you, cat. I love you, cat. Um, let's see. So we got 61 FPS, which tells me the FPS limiter is kicked in. Oh, that's so lame. No, we need to turn that off. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's turn off that FPS limiter. There we go. Jeez. I wonder why I turned the FPS limit off. Oh, because I'm only capturing at 60 frames per second anyway. So yeah, we'll just we'll just oh, so we'll just keep that uh, FPS limiter in there. But yeah, when I um when I turn the FPS limiter off, it goes up to 120. <laughs> I'm not, clearly, my graphics card could play with a much higher uh, frame rate limit than uh, than I could capture. But yeah, unfortunately, Twitch won't let me. Um, I'm feeling eyes on my back. Hey, over there. Here we go. Nice little headshot there. There we go. Got them. <laughs> but yeah, it took me a second before I was like, why didn't I turn that off? I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. You guys can't see the difference anyway. So I may as well just, uh, I may as well just leave the uh, FPS limiter on for the EMV. All right. So we got all sorts of, yeah, we're having... We're getting, we got minute men everywhere now. <laughs> this is nice. Okay, so now we head... We're mostly going to try to go east. Well, we're going to try mostly go north here. We're going to cut through the Boston ruins as best we can without dying. So far, I've managed to only die once in this game. And that was not entirely my fault. Uh, that was a... Nope. Let's... I'll take the desk fan. Nope. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, in that case, I was stupid and um, I didn't get the hell away from a car fast enough and the super mutants got us. Huh. Got him that time. Got that raider waster. Oh, nice shot, Seraph. Wait, where is it? Oh, there you are. It'll be long after you're dead, buddy. Yeah, since they were here. Let's have ourselves a fight. Gotta love how raiders will just shack up and try to gank you. And we'll take some more, more chems. All right. That was all, that was all there. Okay, back on, back to the north. Uh, my, oh, I'm going anywhere, somewhere near Andrew Station, aren't I? Yeah, that's Andrew Station, fuck. Okay, but you know what, since we're this close, let's go to the Boston police thing that's over here. And let's just make sure there's nothing interesting in there. And I don't want a yardstick, don't need a hacksaw. That is not worth the wait. But sure. Since we're here anyway, let's clear a location. We may as well investigate for salvage. I'm going to try not to get too distracted. Of course, easier said than done. Take that. Eh, we don't need... We'll take the shot glass. Shot glasses are awesome. They're glass that are also light. It's a great source. Uh, that stuff, I guess we'll take right away. I don't think there's anything here. Nope. Okay. Take a desk fan, alarm clock, terminal. We could hack that terminal. Sure, I'll take more frag grenades. Why not? Let's pick the lock. There we are. Sweet. But at some point, I need to actually take a look at my mod list and um, and post it. Safety off. That's how we do things around here. Okay. Handcuffs. Oops. Wow, we got a level up off of a rad roach. 
Impressive. <laughs> Tons of ceramic. That's pretty cool. Shit. Okay. Pick another desk fan. Now I'm not activating that thing. Fuck that. Got a 10 millimeter pistol here. Don't need that. Well, a raider was shacked up here. The dogs. Looks like the dogs got them. Uh, I'll take this. Get another of these hollow tapes, pick a safe, get some XP, and then we'll figure out what level we're taking. What Back. perk do we want? Ooh, we'll definitely take pre-war money. Let's see, what are we done? Level up time. Now actually might be the time to take local leader two. Although we are getting to, we're getting closer to a point. Oh, well, actually I probably should do inspirational. Yeah, let's do that so our companion can't hurt us. I really should have taken that before. God only knows how much friendly fire I've taken from these clowns. I don't know why I didn't take that earlier. And now we resume our course north. And when I'm going through the ruins, especially at this level, <laughs> It is uh, just highly advisable to try to steer clear of as much as possible. Now, granted, easier said than done. Sometimes they're already in the middle of a fight, and at that point, it's like, well, they're already softened up. Now we can get some good salvage, but I certainly try not to pick it. I try not to pick fights. <laughs> uh, and I love how, just as you're going through the Boston ruins, you can hear at a distance all of the uh, anarchic mayhem that's constantly going on, even after 200 years, with people picking through and trying to scavenge what they can. Of course, these loading screens sometimes kill me here. A lot of the fog is a mod also. I'll take the model caps. Okay. Right, Andrew Station. We want no part of that. Let's go this way. Yeah, I didn't, didn't want to grab that. But oh well. We're here now. Okay, no super mutants over there. We cleared them out, hopefully. Look yeah. alive. Damn it, dog meat. Constantly walking in front of me. We already grabbed everything out of there. That looks like a hostile robot. And it is. Nothing else. We'll take the junk bot stuff. Cool. <laughs> looks like we missed a party. Yeah, we'll take a stim pack off the rust devil. <laughs> Marvelous. Uh, and unfortunately, that uh, junk, this like junkyard area, the salvage yard, is just far enough away to be out of range of my artillery at the castle. I think I managed to make it work once, but um, most of the time it doesn't. It's right on that perimeter edge. And so, in my experience, it's just not worth, it's not worth trying. Let's look, cruise back. Is that a fusion core just sitting there? Yeah, that's a fusion core just sitting there. Well, that was awesome. <laughs> yep, and there's Hester's Consumer Electronics. When we start doing more salvaging runs, we'll definitely come back for that. Uh, oh, a salvage ray stake just sitting on the ground. Cool. Yeah, paint cans are decent for oil, but they're just too fucking heavy. <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> yeah, yeah, fusion core just sitting there? Huh? Why, thank you. Who's that? Oh, trader. Cool. We'll take a random trader. Hey there. I'm always open for business. Yeah, what do you got? Sure. Let's take a look. All right, Phoenix. Have a good one, buddy. 
I don't think there's anything else we really want here. Was but still. The Museum of Witchcraft not too long ago. Oh, that place always gave me the creeps. But now, now I don't even want to go near it. Good talking, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> and so if that wasn't on our map before, it probably is now. Oh, there's Hub 360. Although Hub 360 is not going to detect, is it? Yeah, I guess not. Fine. I guess Hub 360 is an unmarked location. But it's an interesting one. What's yeah, the take point of picking up that junk? It's awesome, McCready. I'll go even a step further. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Show your face. Come on. I dare you. Nah, I don't think so. I'm just going to loot this ammo and a stim pack. Never mind. <laughs> so clearly we're good at sneaking around. I didn't even see that dude. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to fight our way through this. Let me just make sure. Yep, perfect. Let's throw a grenade. Oh, come on. You got a baseball bat. You're bringing a baseball bat to a gunfight. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots. Blow up that one. Pretty sure we're not alone. We should detect that location, but I. There we go. Okay, now we can detect that a little better. Grab the stim packs. Thank you. That's where the buddy robot is. The drinking buddy that um, we've been sent to go get. And there's usually a group of assholes up here. So let's go sneak up on him, shall we? What the fuck is that? It's got to be a... No, it's McCready's coat. <laughs> McCready's coat glitched because I uh, went into vats. Oh my god. Okay, McCready. Shit. All right, I may have to exit out of the game for that. Oh my god. That is uh, that is nightmare fuel. <laughs> well, let's see what happens when we go into a location and come out of it. Hopefully, it resets that particular artifact. Oh my god. That's there's 35 quart. Not that you can see it because of fucking McCready here. Oh, good grief. Okay, let's uh, let's save. <laughs> Let's just save real quick. Let's quit. Let's reload the game. <laughs> oh, that's a different one. <laughs> hey, Operator Mudhorn, just deal with some glitches here. <laughs> yeah, I love how it uh, can mess up that every so often. That's my fault for going into uh, vats like that. That is not a very common one, but it, it does happen. It's actually funny. I think I've seen that glitch happen in Cyberpunk more than any other game. Um, but yeah, it does happen in this one too. All right. Good. Okay. It's rendering correctly now. Okay. We're good. Okay. So there's 35 quart. So at the very top of that is usually a really nice set of power armor, but it does depend on level. But uh, so if you ever need that, we are just north of the. Okay, so if anybody asks me that question again, it's just north of the Taprock, Taprock, uh, Shamrock Tap House. Yeah, it's a pretty neat location. Let's go. Bastard. Ow, fucker. That time they got the jump on me. Interesting. What the fuck? They're in there. 
there. Interesting. Hey, that must be up here somewhere. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. Not fun for them to get... <laughs> this raider just fell. Literally. <laughs> they must be up there somewhere. What an interesting... Uh... Turrets. Sure. Well, this is one of the more interesting raider attacks, raider ambushes. You're messing with the best. That's how we do things. <laughs> There's obviously a way to get up there. But it's probably not worth my time. Take 38 ammo and back on the north we resume. Mm, yeah, let's not mess around with that. Oh. That's what I call a confirmed kill. So yeah, this is one of the reasons why I don't typically try to make my way through the ruins if I can. Ah, oh, fucking super mutants. Fuck. <sighs> McCready probably hit the damn mini nuke and blew us all up. <laughs> Luckily, we're, we had just saved because of the weird graphical glitch. So let's try. What the hell was that? Right. Let's, uh, let's try not to die there again. Oh my god. So yeah, that's... Uh, I didn't realize we were right next to Funeral Hall. That was, that was uh, clearly bad. Oh, right. I got distracted by these fucking raiders. We wanted to go over here, get this location. Yeah, and if we hit that, we'll explode and die. <laughs> yeah, custom house tower. There really isn't anything in here, but um, going in up here anyway. Max that down. So I think this ended up uh, being cut content. Because if you go in here, there's really nothing to this other than this one room. And obviously is very gory scene, but we'll still take some fusion cells, some ammo. Uh, I imagine this used to be a place where you could go in through these doors and get to a um, and get to a dungeon. But clearly, uh, I guess the time crunch came in, and that was the end of that. <laughs> and that got axed, or they just couldn't get um, the map that particular dungeon to work very well. It was like, all right, you know, for what's, for what's going on in here, it's not worth making it work. But interesting that it's a, dis it's a, it's a discover a uh, discoverable location. And yet there's just one room. <laughs> so clearly, uh, it had been intended as something a little more advanced. There's actually a building somewhere else. That's a, um, it's called the Atlantic offices. My suspicion, and not just my suspicion, but a bunch of people's suspicions is that the building we just went into, Custom House Tower, was Atlantic offices east. And this is where it would have been. But there's, there's a lot of speculation in that. And there's really nothing too concrete. But I think that's the scenario that makes a lot more sense. I'm really glad I switched from the spinning drive to a uh, SSD for that, because otherwise these these loading screens would be even worse. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Although, you know what? I wonder if removing the FPS limit would make the loading screens faster. 
Because the loading screens are very FPS based. Oh, fuck. What do we got going on here? Rust devils. Assholes. Fine. No, I won't. <laughs> Oh, they're up there. Let's scavenge first. Where is that asshole? Over somewhere. Now oh, we're back to 35 port again. Deals with them. Mission accomplished. Wow. Sure, we'll take the targeting card. What do you got, dog meat? Just try not to run into. Where are you going, dog meat? Oh, look at that. Nice job. Nice find. You know, I don't think I ever found this. That's one of the advantages of having dog meat. He will find stuff. Awesome. Now we'll switch back to our silenced weapon. Rust Devil. Scavenge these. Love how they just show up after uh, we just scope this place out. Sure, we'll take the robot spike. You know what? I'll take that robot repair kit. Why not? Uh, go down here. Okay. Save and let's try not to die from the fucking super mutants again. <laughs> yeah, we'll take that. Yay! No, we might even just come up along the east here. Yeah, let's come up around this side. Try to avoid the super mutants entirely. Because, yeah, that uh, that super mutant suicider is just a fucking problem. We'll cook those. Oh, do I really want to mess with Funeral Hall again? I don't think so. Let's just try and make our way north at this juncture. Oh, here's Paul Revere's house. Whenever I see meat bags, I know super mutants are around. Where's the town? There it is. Nothing else coming? Good, okay. I think the bottle caps. Mm, yeah, we'll take Deathclaw meat. Sure. <sighs> Fucking super mutants. Okay. Back out. Okay. Good grief. The ruins down here are so fucking dangerous. <laughs> over here. Well, at least we know where they're coming. Take dog tags. Yeah, I don't think I can jump this. I think I need power armor to get up there. Yeah, I need power armor to get up there. And this door is chained. Although I could toss a grenade in there and bust the chain and pop the chain, but we'll we'll be able to get in there in all due time. All due time. We will be a little patient. Up here we go. Oh, fuck. Right. This area. There are usually raiders up here. Yep, and it's a legendary raider because, of course, it's a fucking legendary raider. Safety off. Motherfuckers. Yes. Shoot you. Okay. And we got another legendary scaver in there. Because of course we do. Oh. Uh, what's going 
going on here? Boom! Got caught loading a cell. We'll definitely take that. <laughs> Deal with you. Stim pack. Free war money. Now that we dealt with the legendaries. Fucking A right, McCready. Good. Nice job, dog meat. Oh, dog meat, don't run down there. I'm tossing a grenade. Good, you missed it. <laughs> Okay. Takes care of these assholes. And we picked up some legendaries. I don't know if either one of those legendaries were good legendaries, but we got them. Let's take a look and see what we got. Alright, we picked up an incendiary leather chest piece. Yeah, no. I'd rather have the Vats Enhanced chest piece we've got. And we got a poisoned metal left arm. Well, that's awesome. Although the... Man, fortifying shit. I think I'd rather have the plus one strength and endurance, but man, so very little in this game gives you poison resistance. Oh, it sucks that they're both the left arm. Damn, it sucks that they're both the left arm. I'll have to think about that. Or just give in and swap it. We got a dust storm. Yeah, there's a dust storm rolling in. <sighs> Who's that? Oh, Minuteman. <laughs> Realized it the second. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, our visibility is like next to nothing here. <sighs> our visibility is quite shite. There is a building around here that's worth exploring but only when I can actually fucking see which is clearly not now <laughs> man oh man oh man so this is uh, clearly not a vanilla weather this is a modded weather <laughs> oh man beautiful god rays here let's pick this sure we'll take a basketball we'll take pre-war money and we'll pick this safe. Nah. Good grief. There we go. Okay, it's somewhere around here. Got it. Nice. Alright. Back out we go. We got a raider over there. Got a bunch of raiders fighting my guys. <laughs> of course, he didn't see me. Yep. One of my own guys got him. Sweet. Yeah, we're splitting that, McCready. Don't worry. That's a drug den. Nice job, guys. Excuse me. Hey. That's damn right. Oh, they killed one of my guys, though. Oh, well. We'll take the Minuteman outfit, though. As you guys have seen, the Minuteman outfits come in handy. We can equip settlers with those at the castle, and at least there, everybody will have proper uh, uniforms. Okay, we'll grab these. Let's see. Nothing over there. Can't tell you how many times things try to attack me from over here. Good grief. Okay. Nothing in here. Nope. All right. Well, that dust storm's starting to clear up. Ah, lovely. Now it's just going to rain. Sweet. Just when I wanted more rain. <laughs> Drug den fun times. Can you die? Uh, yes. 
We have now died twice in this game. One from a, uh, once from an exploding car, and once from a super mutant suicider. Actually, both times were super mutants. So, fun that. Hi. We could really use your help. Actually, I guess that works. I'd be glad to help if I can. We've got a nest of some nasty bugs just around the corner. If they don't get cleaned out soon, we're gonna have a real problem. What's really too bad is it'd be a nice spot for a new settlement. In fact, I know some folks that would love to set up there if it was safe. If you can make sure the old workshop there is still in one Probably place, Taffington Bad Boathouse. Move in later, we'll be able to rebuild. No problem. I'll take care of them for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. Uh, you cannot be a patron at the drug, drug den. <laughs> yep, Taffington Boathouse. I called that. That's okay. Uh, all right. But this will work out because then we'll have County Crossing as a um, settlement. But we need to clear this place out. Take out that thing. Yeah, we're going anywhere, nowhere near that fucking place. I swear I heard something. Yeah, me blowing up a turret, McCready. This place is fucking crawling with bullshit. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Pretty sure we're not alone. That's okay. A lot of times the ghouls will just come to us. So I'm just going to stay out in the open, which normally is not a good idea, but when you're dealing with ghouls, they don't wield weapons. So it's better off being out in the open. Yeah, there's a fight going on over there. Oh, Minutemen. But you guys stay there. I got this. <laughs> okay, the only thing I need to make sure that these mines are taken care of. Really don't need to worry about that shit. Other issue? We're picking up another distress call, vegan. So it's convenient that we're picking up a distress call while we're investigating uh this particular site. Oh, look at that. Place I hate already. Yeah, fuck that thing. Yeah, we should get the heck out of here. Now would be good. Good job, Seraph. Why don't you miss most of your shots? And where is the legendary one? All right. 100 damage with the final shot in the magazine. I guess it's not terrible. It's just not good. All right. Signal strength, 81%. We're getting there. We could pick this, can't we? Yeah, we could. We could do that. Hmm. Trying to get rid of uh trying to get rid of there we go get rid of a dud I think that's the only dud we can remove I don't see any others oh there we go let's remove another dud okay uh, so we got defenders 
Maybe replicate? No, this doesn't have two in common with it. This is one. Do you live third? Only one. Am I crazy? All of these only have one in common with influence. No turn based action. So Vats is. Um, can your distress beacon be blocked? It's not my distress beacon. I'm following a distress beacon. Um. So I've played very little Call of Duty, so I'm not I'm not really sure what the references are there. Um, but yeah, uh, the first two games of the series were turn-based, and Vats was how it worked. Um, Vats is mostly like slow time. Convert head now. Amplifies. Defenders. Wow, I'm totally lo untouch. Oh, that one has two in common. Yes. There we go. Finally. Yeah, I missed it. So anyway, we'll uh, security door control. Yeah, let's open the door. Crash the door. Were a waste of time. Re equip our gun here. Because surely this room is not empty and safe. Barrels push their way in here. She never stood a chance. Oh, actually, it is. Now we've got the distress pulsar. And just like that, we also have uh, Knight Aslan's holotape. We'll take the combat armor chest piece. Oh, just like that, I'm carrying too much. <laughs> hey, uh, McCready, come here, buddy. I like turtles and good night. Ah, all right. Uh, all right, well, Warhammer, thanks for coming and hanging out, buddy. Always good to see you. Where the hell did McCready go? Oh, there you are. Hey, hey stop walking away from me, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, I grabbed a whole bunch of extra salvage. So that was part of the problem there. So now I get to be much more selective. Just like that. Now we go in here. Let's listen to that holotape. things are just too heavy and now we've got a lead on where uh, the others other members ooh cap stash anything else worth getting anywhere around here all right so if we needed it we could have gotten the National Guard officers password here but we hacked it instead now we can cruise down here I mean over here that's what I meant also make sure there's nothing in there. Oh, right, a flight helmet. Yeah, this is where she was sleeping until she got ambushed. Clearly. And yeah, we'll take shotgun shells. Uh, I don't need the flight helmet. We'll leave the flight helmet. We'll leave her flight helmet. But it was cool to pick up uh, a chest piece of hers. Let's see. What I'll probably do is just clear out this and then uh, call it because it's starting to get a little late. It's not crazy late, but it's it's getting there. But still, a lot of a decent amount. I mean, it's amazing how like I feel like I just started, and yet it's like eleven o'clock. <laughs> Although a lot of that was spent fiddling around with the castle. Deal with this. Plus, we still got a little bit of this. Deal with that turret. I think that's... Oh, hey, buddy. Eh, all right, fine. <laughs> Goodbye, ghoul.
we do have a little bit to uh, deal with. We have to clear the area of ghouls, but then we also have a little bit of an extra fun thing to do here. Sure. I heard it. <laughs> I was very uh, ammo inefficient. Try that again, this time without the oops. You hear that? Not anymore. But oh, wait. Hmm, there are more. Well, let's go this way first. Clear this. Make sure I don't get ambushed by that. <laughs> That's why we come over here and we do it this way. Turn off that radio. Hmm. I do like having cork and plastic and screws, but not at that weight at this juncture. I've already picked up enough junk. Make a bottle cap. Oh. <laughs> Troubleshooting missile launcher. Because why not? <laughs> Fuck, man. What's going on in here? That's a stealth boy. Pick that up. Although, I I really need to use stealth boys more often. I definitely underutilize those. Where is that one? Okay, there's that one. Probably shouldn't have picked up the screwdriver. Fuck it at this point. I've gone too far. Take plasma cartridges. And in the difficulty level that I'm playing at, ammo doesn't have any weight. Although it would... So some of the things about... Um, damn it, I did not want to pick up a fucking burnt book. Jeez, are you kidding me here? Um, Burnt books are worthless, and they weigh a pound. Definitely don't want to pick that up. All right. Now I don't see anybody. Good. Right leg bones. I don't have enough weight for that. Look. Scan this. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. We're splitting all that, right? <laughs> of course, McCready. Just to make sure there's nobody over here. Oh, fuck. Okay. That tends to explode. That area in there. Hell yeah. Yeah, field manual. Woohoo. Now we're even more difficult to detect while sneaking. Sweet. Yeah, this place explodes extremely easily. So I wanted to be very careful while I was uh, out there. Yeah, we'll take a potato. Sure, we'll take potatoes. Potatoes are cool. Yeah, those don't weigh all that much. It's probably this that I end up shooting a lot. At least I'm guessing that's what it is. Grab a drinking grass. We've got all that crap. Okay. Now we go and deal with... Oh, he came out. Okay. A lot of times that fucker will hide. Yep, and I, now we've cleared it. Oh, we got a clean toaster, too. That was pretty neat. The clean toaster's nice. But now we'll just be thorough. Yeah, the, um, the glowing one was what I was absolutely concerned about. Military fatigues? Sure. I think I can make use of that later. Okay, now we leave, and now we fully clear it. We've now cleared it as far as the uh, quest is concerned. It's now Green Top Nursery once we go back there. Even if we did nothing else, they would um, they would ally with us. But since we're here, there's one little optional area to deal with. And there's a reason why it's optional, because uh, it could be a little tricky. <laughs> but we're going to cheese this a little bit with some mines. Up the 
terminal. Open the door. Yep, thank you. Okay, I don't see this ghoul that was out here. So yeah, as you can see, there's a sentry bot right there. Sentry bots, fucking terrifying. So yeah, uh, there's one. <laughs> uh, we've got to see what's inside this place. Yes, we do, McCready. Yes, we do. And then we'll set a fragmentation mine over here. Got to kill that thing before it sets off the mine I just set. <sighs> that was almost bad. <laughs> okay. Now then. thought I could <sighs> man I'm having a really hard time hitting it from here fine let's just now we'll pick this it's a master lock Well worth it. Got it. Sweet. <laughs> have fun with this junk. I have no idea what any of it does. Well, at least you're honest, McCready. Headshot. Of course, it's easier to get a headshot when they're asleep and kind of just there. Oh, we will definitely take that. <laughs> we will definitely take that. And move over here. Got that. Yes. And we'll take the tablespoon. I don't think we can hit that guy through this. I think we have to hack this terminal. It's really fucking annoying. Nice. Thank you. <sighs> now just starting to have fun. All right. Duct tape adhesive. Take the vault tech lunchbox. Not gonna duct tape. We like adhesive. And of course, here's our X01. Ah, we've started to get to X01 now. Nice. We'll take the fuse, the silver fork, the duct tape. All right, we don't need anything else. We're good. If I were making a power armor collection, we'd be taking that. But I think I'm okay for right now. We can always come back to it. Okay, now. Now we get ready. Whoops. Shit. How do you get your Fallout 4 stay at 60 FPS? I have a... I'm getting 40 FPS. Really stuttering. That? Yeah. I'm. I. So we've got similar cards. I've got a 40, 80 super. How did you get over there? Fuck! Damn it. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. fucking thing. How did it get over here? Oh, that's so lame. That's so lame. <laughs> that is such bullshit. I set up a fucking bottle cap mine just to make sure that wouldn't happen. Wow. Okay, I don't know how we survived that. Uh, Alright, so we, we survived that somehow. Yeah, let's get my frag mine back that it didn't hit at all. Oh, I'm actually lucky it didn't detonate the this frag mine. Although I think it did run over. I think at least it hit one of them on its way over. Such bullshit. 
Oh my god. Um, but yeah, no, you should be getting way more than 40, uh, 40 FPS. I like the 4080 Super, but it's it's very similar to the 4080. Really, the only difference is, is it was a couple of hundred bucks less. Uh, but other than that, it's, it's a 4080. So uh, it just tells me NVIDIA priced it wrong when they originally uh, released it. But it's 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 basically the same card. But uh, but I mean, to to you know to your point, uh, I do like it. It's a good card. Um, and so, yeah, when I don't have it limited, so right now it's, it's only 61 cause I have it limited, but when I unlock the limiter, it fires up to 119. Um, so it's probably kicking into my driver where I have it limited in there. So I, I don't know. I'd, uh, we'd probably have to look at that in a little more detail, but yeah, if you're only getting 40 FPS, there's, there's something very wrong there. Uh, and I'm not sure what that would be. Uh, you're not, you don't buy any chance, you're not running the, uh, the HD DLC, right? I mean, that's, that's kind of the first question that would kind of come to mind. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we want to go to Green Top Nursery. Perfect. Well, uh, oh, right, yeah, we'll have that to do. But yeah, we should go to Green Top Nursery first. Let's just go up there. Let's cash in the quest. We'll go to this place, we'll discover it. We'll head to Green Top Nursery. And by then, McCready should be asking us to go to MedTech Research, which we conveniently are right nearby. That's literally that, that hospital that's already on our pit boy That would be convenient. What do you mean by DLC? Okay, so I'm going to assume not. So there are a couple of DLCs with this game, um, but one of them is a, is a free DLC. Bethesda did an HD DLC where they essentially uh, upscaled the textures, but they did a really... Um, not efficient job with it. It looks beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it completely tanks FPS on anybody who downloaded it. So it kind of begs the question, um, if you're dealing with an FPS issue, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Uh, other than that, are you do you have Fallout 4 modded at all? I'm gonna assume not, but um, again, worth asking. just to rule it out. Let's see, we're gonna cruise up here. Yep, Green Top Nursery is over here. That should be the... Oh, that's the Protectron. It's fine. The Protectron's just gonna fire at us. <laughs> okay, so you do have it modded. Alright. Um, it, it could be... I mean, it could be one of the mods uh, slowing it down and uh, and choking your performance. Um, one of these days, we'll have to meet uh, we'll have to meet up on Discord, and uh, we could take a look at the mod list. I think I showed you my mod list, if I remember correctly. Um, pretty sure I showed you my mod were list. Were able to clear out those ghouls? Took care of those ghouls that were giving you trouble. You did? That's great news, lady. You and the Minutemen have our gratitude, and. What just happened? Oh. Oh, great. Now we gotta talk. Somebody's showing up to attack us? I don't think so. Unless that Protectron's showing up, which I don't think it is. I think we're okay. Hey, McCready. Well, oh, you shouldn't have. Yeah, I'm not, McCready. <laughs> we're, we're grabbing all this stuff. Because we're going to build a couple of things here. We're going to build a um, beacon. And we're also going to put some uh, defenses here. Let's see. Radiated blood, death claw meat. Yep. All of the things. Uh, why do I have so much weight? Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? Military fatigues can go in here. And then we'll have to worry about this shit later. I think they've run off. Yeah, I think you're uh, imagining things there, buddy, but that's okay. But with all of that, let's... Let's just do this really fast before we cut things for the night. But yeah, you really... You should be getting way more than 40, 40 FPS. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's... Yeah, there's something very, very wrong there. Um, but at the, off the top of my head... I couldn't tell you what that might be. Right, 
So let's do settlement radio beacon first off. And then, yes, we can build this. Perfect. That's what we need first and foremost. Okay. Now, let's see. Can we build turrets? Good. We can build a couple of turrets. And we shall. Let's at least build a few. There we go. Okay. Okay. This place is okay with uh, with that not at uh, that time. Uh, most weapons mods mods list for mostly. Um, I mean we'll. S uh, I I think so. Um, so I normally work. I normally have business hours, but I'm also working on my dissertation and my lit review. So it it just kind of depends on the progress I'm making with uh, with my schoolwork. But yeah, I mean I should I I, I believe so. <laughs> I am pretty sure I will be, I will be free tomorrow if you want to try to connect, and uh, and see what the story is with that. Oh, I hear fire fighting over there. Let's put a couple of um. Let's put a couple of sleeping bags in here. We'll scrap that. We'll scrap this. Okay. Yeah, we could put a couple of. Nope. Beds. Beds. These aren't very efficient resources wise but they're small and I can kind of pack them in <laughs> uh, and that makes them very useful yeah I don't like doing that necessarily because of all the candles but again let's uh let's go with that cool. come on oh, why can't I oh, there we go Perfect. Okay, now we got eight beds. Things should be okay here. Maybe we'll put one more water pump. Maybe right, right here. If I can. Yes, good. Alright, we'll be good. Okay, maybe the water pump will go over here. Perfect. Okay, this works. Okay, so this place is up and running. Uh, and when we come back to it, we can properly set that up. In the meantime, I gotta go to Preston Garvey, cash in two quests, so that ought to be fun. Uh, let's save for now. And uh, is there anything? Oh, right, we have Finch Farm to still deal with. So maybe what we'll do next next stream, whenever that happens to be, and I don't know if that's gonna be this week or not. Uh, it might end up being this weekend. Um, but we'll go to Finch Farm. We'll do the quest that's there. That ends up being a very interesting quest, and it's also pretty pretty tough. Uh, I sent you pictures. Ah, perfect. I'll take a look at that. And, um, and, um, maybe by then McCready will give us his quest that'll send us here. It'll be nice because it'll be nice and efficient because we're here. If not, then we'll cruise all the way back up to Sanctuary and cash in our two Minutemen quests. But in any event, let's save. I think I saved it already. Yeah, I did. But let's just override it because fuck it. And let's see who might be on. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, oh, Cobra's on still. I mean, we also got Kai. Let's raid out to Kai. We haven't raided out. I think we we raided Code, Cobra Commander last time. So let's let's raid Kai uh, tonight. Let's see what he's up to. Looks like he's playing some Donkey Kong Country. Uh, Donkey Kong 64, rather. So let's take a look at that. We'll get that raid set up. Uh, so yeah, channel update, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to stream again this week. Just because uh, aforementioned, that was like the perfect segue uh, for, for my free tomorrow because I've I'm, I'm got some schoolwork uh, that I'm going to try and be doing. Uh, so that's the priority. So we'll see what the story is with that. But either way, I'll play at the very minimum. I'll play a little more East 4 Memories of Silsetta on Saturday. And we'll probably do a little more Fallout 4 on Sunday night. And in the event that um, I'm either ahead of schedule or just feeling lazy, uh, I guess we'll see what happens um, for the rest of the... Um, for the rest of the week but in the meantime let's raid kai say hi to him and see what the story is but in the other any uh any other event i hope everybody has a great rest of your week and uh until next time i will see you all on the next one ciao